Anyway, let's get out there and break some monster back here. Pardon me? <gasps> Mayor Mabel! Resolve to link Dave, Bravo Dave, Anomaly, and Omicars. Few know me as the man who hates pollen. <laughs> but it rained recently, so I mean, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, to most time, United States Avenger, as you see, we just got a pearl glass. Um, we need that for a quest, because we're about to go quest hunting, finish off the last little quest here, in this place. <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll cap off uh, rolling. It's good to be back here, to be honest. Uh, that being said, let's go through your comments real quick. I actually have them up already. Um... We're able to run back into here immediately. Starting with Anthony Sub. I see the man in the thumbnail. The man in the thumbnail, oh my gosh. Uh, beating that fight uh, with just Agon and Cher is impressive. I got lucky. I hate the fog. Ah, uh, Estelle, you're high. <laughs> Little Estelle, um... I keep forgetting that you have this feud with Cassius. Yeah, I'm surprised we got to see Mama Bright. Even in the opening bit of the first game, when Cassius brings Joshua home, she's gone. Uh, finally, the fog's gone. Why is there a dragon? I don't know, and it's almost boss time indeed. Uh, Gakoma, with a couple of things, uh, a tip regarding visible conversations, uh, next time when Estelle's next wandering around the ship, um, some people have multiple conversations, talk to them again, fair enough. I think I do usually try and do two talk-throughs, but sometimes I don't, so it's also, it's always gonna, like, bring that back up. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's, uh, if it's everyone, but specifically whoever you brought, uh, to the boss fight, and I think it is just to the boss fight, uh, has an extra scene. I think it's been a while. I know Olivier and Chloe, if you brought her along, uh, but I also know Agon. I think everyone who you bring has one, uh, from what I've been told. And I think we brought, uh, <laughs> we brought, um, some people, and we will talk to them. Uh, Agate and Olivier. That being said, Gakoma also says, I love how Olivia actually seems pretty angry at right. There was, the facade was dropped, um, because he was experiencing that dream. And I, based on Estelle's dream, I do kind of wonder what everyone's dreams were. And I kind of hope that they tell us on the ship. I hope that's what this extra dialogue is. Uh, Richard, who says, uh, there are a lot of different versions of the Ouroboros Enforcer themes in this game and in future ones, and many of them are awesome. I, thank you, because that's all I wanted to hear. That when when that Enforcer themes comes on, I'm I'm vibing to it. And you know what? Can I join Ouroboros? Like I'm, I'm like I know that they may be doing some bad things, but like I'll do some bad things too. I'm just like, <laughs> if it means having a rocking theme, if you gotta be evil, you gotta be evil. Uh, Illusion magic, hi. Uh, reasons why you should read a monster, or why you should read monster rather. Descriptions. Explody boys and boys that reflect. Um, I'll never read things. Uh, why can't I just buy it? Uh, as far as I remember, if I remember correctly, rather, I don't think we can buy every course with Mira. We also have to spend Sepik to synthesize. Hey is actually uh, prioritized above Scent. If you have both on your team, Scent won't do anything. Hate that. I also couldn't find this Milch Main Roan monster. It was like, it's it was in like the, the cut. But like in a cut where it's like in the middle and it made me feel like a, a doofus. Uh, did you equip zero prevent confusion accessories? I sure did. Uh, Lena immediately gets invited to the MILF. Oh, 100% she's getting invited to the Mother's International Lucha Federation. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen a headcanon that Lena used to be. Hold on. Cool. Um, a bracer and Cassidy took up the staff because it was her weapon of choice. At the beginning of, uh, first chapter, when it was her turn to cook, Estelle made those omelets. I thought so. I didn't want to, like... Uh, say that and be uh, <laughs> dead wrong, but you know, maybe I should just start. I think that's gonna be my new thing. I'm just gonna start saying things, and they might be right, but y'all gonna have to call me out when I'm dead wrong. <laughs> but it'll be funny. Um, so, do you think Dream Lita might have one? Rather, might have, on some level, been the real Lena after all? No. I don't, unless she's like a... I mean, based on how the, the ending part of that scene went, maybe. But also, maybe that's still like... The intricacies of Estelle, uh, Estelle's uh, mind, rather, thinking what Lena would say about her as she was walking away. Who knows? Um, the Enforcer theme is so good it is. It's the main melody of the Ouroboros motif. It is fittingly uh, used throughout the um, 
the series whenever the society is involved. Uh, <laughs> the final bop of this theme is probably the second chapter super arranged version, which is used in Cold Steel 4 and Reverie. Uh, Luciola Lucy, Enforcer number 6, represents the Lover's Arcana. Hey, oh. Reversed it uh, is one-sidedness, um, loss of balance, disharmony, while it represents partnerships, duality, and union while upright. It has some... She has some major baggage, rather. I do hope that we have some good times with Lucy. I mean, I, I kind of hope that... Um, I guess our party is also representing these arcanas, but the upright versions. Um... Let me see. You might want to hold your celebration. Yeah, I read one of the descriptions. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. We're just going to leave that one. No, we're not. Um, so, Revelt and Company were the premier Erebonian instrument maker or manufacturers, rather. They also made music boxes. While the family has since imploded, you'll be able to meet the survivors in the Erebonian arc. I'm also like 90% sure they make Ollie's flute. Uh, you've met all of the enforcers with this arc, and before leaving Roland, we gotta talk to a lot of people. We got this quest information, we'll be doing it. And on the airship, a lot of things. I got the things. I got the things. We'll pull this back up with Boss. Um, where most importantly, we'll have to get the liberal news. <clears throat> Speak to Mayor Maybell, and that's all I needed to hear. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I needed to hear Mayor Maybell. A Bell. All right. Thank you for the comments. Uh, let's go do these things. Uh, did I start one of these? All those are done. Oh, I just turned one in. That's what I did. So I need to go to the bar, the clock tower, and the mine. Never mind, your house, which is... So we're just staying in the city, which is nice. Thank you. Thank goodness. Uh, we might not be staying in the city because I know Blue Block likes to blue ball me, but hey, we'll go. <laughs> Let's see how it is. I think I said thank you for the comments, by the way, but I always like to just double down and reiterate thank you for the comments. Uh, they mean the world, and <laughs> I would miss so much in this game if it were not for the comments. <laughs> and I like to see how you guys are experiencing the game, too, because some of you have never experienced this game before. Others of you have, are watching this as like a second or third playthrough, uh, after your own playthrough. Um... And hey, maybe I'll catch something you didn't catch your time. Oh, hi Estelle, share a hi. I like to check in with Claire because you know, she's she's goaded out here. Are you leaving Roland? Yes, we'll be packing the wagon shortly here. I'm sorry, Claire, we've got work to do elsewhere. You two are going together? That means there's a case. Is it a plot of the, uh, <clears throat> Empire's Warhawks using the treaty as cover or the remnants of the intelligence division? No, maybe it's the Kabua Sky Band, uh, Sky Bandits rather. That surprised everyone. Oh, I can't see where this is going. I'm not entirely sure what to think about her being that close to the actual mark. She always is. I think a certain Mr. Byrne should <laughs> fear <laughs> the Nile now for his job when she gets older. I do hope that, like, later in the story we get to see her grow up and become, like, a reporter. Because I know this game goes on for a while. Yeah, I wanted to check on you guys. I was going to go to the hotel, but I guess we'll go here. Oh, my bracers. Look, look. The kittens are all so fluffy and full of energy. I only see one of them. Heh, I'll say. Decide on any names yet? Um, not yet. I thought of a few, but I just can't decide. I hope I can decide before they grow up. Yeah, um, naming pets before they grow up is generally good practice. You know, just a little advice there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Luke, how are you? You alright? Estelle! Hi, Luke. Thank I you sure all better. Heh, <laughs> nothing wrong with me now. I was kind of sad when I woke up, though. I was having this totally sweet dream the whole time. Were you now? Yeah, a dream where I was the best racer ever, and we went to do all sorts of awesome stuff. <laughs> I was so awesome, you didn't even compare. Haha, <laughs> ah, the dreams of children. That will never happen. <laughs> ah, well, do your best to make it happen, okay? Yeah, you just wait. I'll be better than the instant, uh, better than you the instant I get my badge. Oh yeah, Estelle, what about our duel? Oh boy, you still on about that? Yeah, I did promise, but you're really sure you want a duel? Uh, actually, I was gonna say not today. I mean... I totally caused you a ton of trouble with everything, so... So I'm totally gonna spare you the humiliation of losing today. Yeah, sure. 
Humiliation is my biggest worry here, not being arrested for child <laughs> endangerment via staff. <laughs> but you know, I understand. We'll have our reckoning another time, you know? Yeah, you better be ready. Luke the Amazing's awesome swordsmanship is gonna send you packing. Oh, you better make sure you practice then, otherwise Luke the Amazing's going home on a stretcher again. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Same to you. Again? <laughs> right? Uh, here, let's pick up these quests, too. Uh, so he said... Second? No. Well, I guess somebody is in the bar, so we'll go to the bar first. Uh, the owner's wife finally opened her eyes. Plus, the bloody flogs cleared up, and flog, fogs cleared up, and everyone's back to normal. Feels like I'm able to get to work with a very clean feeling now. You, what's up? I would like to talk to you. <gasps> ah, Estelle! Mom's opened her eyes. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm not, I promise myself I'm only gonna cry. Alyssa. Yeah, I'm relieved too. You too, Cher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm happy to have been of help. I hope you'll continue to take care of Tabitha. Yes, I'll do my best. You and Ina should stop by again for a drink one of these days. I'm looking forward to it. Give my best to Faulkner. Whoa. A death sentence. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, you, it's not a familiar recipe or something. Hey there. Ah, uh, finally my tablet has woken up. Sorry for kicking up such a fuss. Oh, please don't let it bother you. It's all a part of the job, really. Yes, as Estelle said. Incidentally, you apparently have some kind of job for us. Oh, you see, uh, you're on business. I see you, so you're on business then. Well, what I'd like to ask you to do is investigate a certain recipe and find its ingredients. How about it? Got some time? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Yeah, no problem. What kind of recipe am I investigating? Right, so I'd like to find you a recipe for a certain stew. We'll call it Roland Style Hodgepodge Stew for now. R Roland Style Hodgepodge Stew? To be honest, that sounds as appetizing as that potluck we found in a chest once. <laughs> <laughs> er, yeah, it sounds like, uh, it'd be hard to keep down. Now, now, it's just a temporary, a temporary name. Anyway, I want you to investigate that recipe. If you ask around, I'm sure you'll find something. Apparently, every home used to make it back in the old days. Huh. So we should probably ask some old folks about cooking then. Doesn't seem like younger people know about old, uh, what old families cook. Oh, a reasonable conclusion. Well, it's time, uh, a fine direction to begin our investigation, but... <clears throat> we still have enough information about the recipe itself. Yeah, you might be right. It'd be nice to know what it, uh, goes in it, at least. Yeah, that's a good point, but sorry, you only to ask Radford for the recipe. Huh? I thought this was your request. You want us to ask Radford? Well, here's the thing. He's the one who brought it up in the first place. Apparently, he ate the most nostalgic meal in his dreams. Oh, man. He's been begging me to make it for him ever since. Oi, so that's how that request came about, huh? But a guild request just for stew? I mean, was it really that good? Hmm. It might not necessarily be because of the flavor. Perhaps it's a memory of some kind. The old man's not much, uh, either. Or not saying much either, rather. But I'm sure that's the case. Anyway, that's the story. I'd like to serve it to him if I could. Ah, what a moving tale. To make a reality. A sweet dream of memories past. I shall be glad to assist. Yeah, Radford's finally awake. Let's feed him... <coughs> Uh, to celebrate his recovery. Which one's Radford again? Uh, so then, we'll start by asking Radford about the recipe. Is there anything else we need to know before we go? Ah, uh, yes. After you sort out finding the recipe, would you mind picking up the ingredients needed? Might be, uh, use some kind of rare ingredients after all. No problem. If ingredients are what you want, the ingredients you shall have. Huh? Good to hear. I can't believe how fired up I'm getting over this. Oh, I can't wait to cook. I'm gonna use that giant vase of water behind me, and I'm gonna cook it. <laughs> Or perhaps the pot of stew on the oven. Maybe that would be a better idea. No, I'll use the vase. <laughs> so, well, don't you worry. We'll leave no turn stone unturned in this search. Yep, yeah, what she said. Expect some good news to come your way soon. Thanks. Who's Radford? <laughs> Are you Radford? Okay, cool. Isn't the meal ready yet? It's an old recipe, so I'm sure the chef is having trouble. Radford, can we have a moment? Uh, who's this? But Cassius Bright's girl, yes, uh, you need something from me? I'm Radford. You remember me, right? No! <laughs> yes, actually! 
We'd like to ask you about the recipe you ordered for Denzel. Oh, that dish. You mean the stew I dreamed of? Yes, the recipe. Actually, we got a request from Denzel. You don't know what it is. Oh, so then you'll be looking for the stew. Well, oh, I can taste your success already. It tastes like stew. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Thanks. But we need your help before we get started. We need to hear the details about that recipe. Uh, not just what went into the flavoring, but where you had it anything. Well, let's see, let's see. Well, I'm sure you know the recipe was for a stew. As I remember, the flavor was black pepper. Uh, it was spicy, invigorating stew. Right, right, strong black pepper. Got it. Go on, please. Main ingredient was meat, I think, though, uh, you could probably use a uh, white fish. I like meat, but we'll say, uh, meat for now. <clears throat> a big chunk of meat, bone and all, so tender it falls off. Also, I know some herbs were used, but I can't remember what kind. Remember the smell, but I can't remember what smell it was. Oh my gosh, Radford. Unhelpful. So frustrating. So the main ingredient was meat or fish, but you want the meat and the bone and all of it. Okay, gotcha. Lastly, there were herbs, but you don't know exactly what types. Is that it? Well, that's fairly specific. <clears throat> yes, this should be sufficient information for us to begin our recipe hunt. I hope it helped a bit. Yeah, it's plenty, thanks, I guess. All right, well, well then, happy hunting. I'm looking forward to hearing the recipe you found, all right? So you want me to talk to some more old people, right? People good at cooking and the elderly. Well, I think Luke has like a grandma that lives somewhere here. Oh, you're old. You look just like Radford. Hey, you guys, good work on everything. You aren't already off on your next job, are you? Well, you could say that, but first we plan to do a bit of work around here. Yes, you need to take care of this branch at least a little, and I think Ina will <laughs> let us out of sorts. Or we'll get out of sorts, rather, and that is something I do not wish to face. Must be uh, hard work all the time. Well, once things are settled a bit, come on back here. Oh, yeah, and that bring that Joshua boy with you, okay? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do. Uh, okay, well, Bruce is always so busy, I can't keep up. Once some work settles down, come on back here and bring that Joshua, okay? All right, well, you're useless. Apparently, you're not old enough, huh? Do they live in here? No. I told her she can go outside, but Uni refuses to leave my side. Guess Uni really does understand how I feel. Nah, there's nothing in my eye. I'm not crying. You're crying. Hehe. <laughs> Today I can spend all day with Papa. I'm happy. I love my Papa. Oh, that's actually really nice. Huh? That's sweet. Man, kids are pretty cool when they don't suck. <laughs> Here, let me actually, uh... I think that's the minor I need to see, actually. Um... Let me come in here first. You, you're good at cooking. No, you're not good at cooking, are you? Oh, everyone, my father woke up and it's perfectly healthy. I really, I thank you. Whatever you did, I don't know how I can truly thank you, but uh, no, you don't need to. How is Radford doing anyway? He's well? Yes, very much so. He's still a little lightheaded, but I think that'll pass soon. Good, sounds like he's fine. Yes, I suspect he'll be fine. If there's any change, let Father Divine know. Uh, he should be able to help you at this point. Yes, I'm keeping a very close eye on Father's help. Uh, Father's help, rather. Anyway, please be careful on your way. We will. Let me move this a little bit, because this is directly in my eye. We'll be seeing you soon, uh, Iridis. Okay, so that might be the minor, but also you're good at cooking. My husband's supposed to, uh, supposed to start work again at the mine today, but apparently he's lost something important and hasn't had it out yet. Uh, oh, so yeah, it's him. I hope the other miners can manage things for a while, knowing a few of them, though, it's a bit of a question. Okay, well... Nothing new from you, so let's go and... I guess we could pick up this quest. Damn it all. It just had to go missing right as we were about to head back to work. Looks like you have a problem, Chief. Ah, you all! You saw the board, didn't you? Yeah, we did. You say something was stolen, Gaston? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> My letter stolen like Gaston. Yeah, I'm worried about what's happened to it. I'd like to get on this right away. Is this a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, sure, lay it on us, Chief. Excellent. Well, then, before I get into the meat of it... Hey, Anya. Huh? What is it, Papa? Papa's got some really important things to talk about with Mrs. Stell and her friends. How about you go have Mama read you a book? Okay. <laughs> Mama, can you read for me? Haha. <laughs> need to get a moment, uh, need a, a moment to get ready, too, huh? And there goes the blood sugar again. I'll go diabetic at this rate, Lamal. Right, let's start over. 
Let me start from the very beginning. I know this posting wasn't too clear. Yeah, if you could. It will help to know everything in the case of a missing object. So, what's gone missing is the Royal Letter Commission for the Malga Mine. Letters of Commission come from the desk of the Queen herself. They authorize and, uh, recording of authorization, uh, authorization of a mine chief for a given excavation site. The Malga Mine's actually the technical property of the Crown, you see? You see? We can legally, uh, mine there only because we have the commission from Her Majesty, you see? <laughs> oh, okay. Never actually knew the mine, I guess the whole mountain, was the Queen's property. While the Berlin practices a democracy, remember that it is own, uh, still a constitutional monarchy. It follows that uh, at least a portion of the Queen or the Kingdoms of the Queendoms resources will remain property of the Crown and thus the government. Either way, I think I follow the problem. Even if it is a formality on some level, the Malgamine is Queen Alicia's property. As such, if you mine there without a commission, it's technically theft. Yes, that's it exactly, you see? So you understand why the letter's so important now to the whole town. Yeah, no kidding, it's important. So, with that out of the way, what exactly happened? When did you notice the letter was missing, and where is it supposed to be? Well, it was just this morning. I noticed a little strong box the commission uh, was in was open. When I looked inside, no letter. Capiche? <laughs> so there hasn't been much time since you discovered the letter went missing. I'll be honest, Katan, I'm a little unsure this is even a crime at this point. I must say the same. This sounds more like an innocent child prank than a deadly crime. I wish I could say it was and make things easier. Though this time, it ain't. Why are you so sure? Wait, that look on your face. You have a reason beyond the letter itself to think this was a crime, don't you? Good intuition. As a matter of fact, take a look at this. Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, I'm gonna punch Blue Blanc in the face. <laughs> oh, my beautatious princess and her band of heroes. The world of the words of the queen lie in my hand. Should you desire their return, then sift ye through the chaos to find the truth. The first key lies within the city. Search they who sit behind or beside the goddess. So I guess probably the church. So that card was in the box, you see? It has to be a theft. No kid wrote that. Adios, just kill me. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> what in the? Why do y'all look like you've seen a naughty dog? <laughs> you could say we kind of have. <laughs> blue, uh, blue Blanc, rather, you opera fetish maniac. Do you ever know when to give up? Who the hell is Blue Blanc? <laughs> you see? Is he the one who stole my letter? I can't be absolutely certain, but I think it's very likely. Uh, we can guess about it later, though. Right now, we need to track down this letter. Yes, that seems wise. Let's try and find the place, um, on the card first. Yes, we must seek out those who sit beside the goddess. The Phantom Thief has something, a bit of a fixation with Ideos. I'm guessing it's some sort of illusion. The only place that would remotely come to mine would be the town church. Maybe we should start there? Sounds like a good plan to start to me. Anyway, Estelle, good luck and be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be fine. I was gonna say we've never been attacked during these blue block missions, but we have. Uh, we actually have. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this, Katan. Yes, please. The town needs that letter back, not just me. So we gotta do all that again. Let's see. We also have to talk to old people. Talk to the oldies. Oh, there's not a thing right there? That's kind of crazy. Uh, what happened to the guy? Oh, no, I actually know where they are. I talked to them. Um. Is it here that I want to go? Yeah, here and up. You're old. It's such a relief that Luke woke up and was just fine. The fog's cleared too, perhaps I should get Rhett out of the house for once. Haha, <laughs> it might be not too bad to go on a date like the old days. He doesn't care about the old days, now you read a bunch of books. Pat went out to play with Luke. I'm glad Luke woke up. Uh, but, uh, for him to awaken right as the fog clears. Uh, these have been a strange few days, that much is for sure. Well, you're old. Why, hello everyone. Luke's finally woken up. He's back to his old self running around outside. Ha, huh, yeah, we saw him. If anything, he's even more hyper than before. I'm almost worried he'll get too ahead of himself and get hurt again at this point. All that aside, I get the impression you have come in over today with a purpose. Yeah, you're old. Oh, you could tell, huh? Actually, I have something I'd like to ask you about, Miss Maggie. Right, go ahead. 
Estelle explained that she was looking for the stew recipe she heard about from Radford. A strong pepper stew. Yes, I've heard of it, but I've never made it. I was always so busy helping my parents, our meals were simple, really. Oh, I see. Great. Perhaps we should visit someone else then. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. Gosh darn it, Miss Maggie. Miss Maggie. I still love Miss Maggie. She gets a pass. Oh, let's talk to our boys. And girls. Hey, what's up, my dude? Oh, you're still in Charizard. Love you the weather we're having, huh? Sounds like the people uh, who are asleep have woken up. I'm guessing this is your duel, isn't it? Ah, well, it's kind of weird, but yeah, I guess it technically is. Oh, I knew you would solve it for all of us. I'd love to hear on the details and exactly how you did it, but knowing you guys, I'm guessing you've got more work lined up that you need to get on with. So I better let you go. I look forward to hearing all the details another day, though. Ha 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 ha. It's like he can read our minds. <laughs> we appreciate it. Now, if you'll pardon us. Oh, yes, and bring Joshua with you, then. I've been praying to Ideo so that you can track him down. Hey, you know what? <laughs> when, do we, when do we see Joshua again? I'm gonna, like, copy and paste a picture of him in here. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I prayed for this and it happened. <laughs> What's up? My, my, welcome, everyone. Maybe these two aren't as old as we think they are. I've heard about the wonderful job you've been doing. I know, it was nothing that big. Estelle, you've been such an impressive, impressive bracer. Little girl I knew isn't here anymore. Now I'm all by my lonesome. H hey, Stella. Teehee. Just kidding. Hey, Stella. Oh my gosh. Teehee. <laughs> Looks like you still got a, you still got a ways to go, Estelle. <laughs> uh, if you say so, geez. Estelle's crying act is no joke. Uh, you still have to go off again, I suppose. But Estelle, be sure to take care of your health and stay well. I'm looking forward to the day where you bring Joshua with you. So, Shara. Take good care of Estelle. Don't make her drink, alright? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. It's not my style to force alcohol onto people. What? <laughs> oh yeah, I must have misheard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it, everyone? Oh, and suddenly this odd lady is very worried. <laughs> Shara, please, we're counting on you. <laughs> that was actually really funny. She was like, huh? <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, actually, there's a maid in here that's pretty good at cooking, right? Oh, also, you're here in old. Ah, uh, Stell, everyone, I've heard... Ho, 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 Mayor Klaus. Uh, Santa Klaus. Uh, I've heard all the details from Ina. A great deal of it seems to be under investigation, so I doubt I was told everything, but who could have imagined a fog that bends dreams? Uh, dream benders, I knew it. Uh, trust me, we're in the middle of it all, and we still don't know much more. Anyway, right now we're tracing, uh, chasing snakes from region to region, region to region. Hopefully we can, uh, catch one sooner or later and get some real answers. Ah, yes. For my part, I did, uh, plan on keeping the full truth of the incident from the citizenry as well. Everyone is still recovering from the trauma of seeing their loved ones comatose. I do not wish to scare them any uh, even further. Yeah, it's probably for the best for now. Saying the wrong thing could just lead to chaos. And I imagine that you all are off to New Horizons, Animal Crossing. I can only ask that you be careful. Your enemy, our enemy, is more twisted than I could ever imagine. Don't worry, we're kind of used to the twisting by now. <laughs> we played Twister eight times on airships. Anyway, thanks, Mayor Klaus. Take care. And you, Estelle, come back to us safely. Do you know anything? Oh, yeah, okay. Please be careful. Our enemy. Okay, fine. Hey, you know food. While I was asleep, I had this very long and elaborate dream. It was a dream where Mayor Klaus and uh, the mistress first took me in. The mistress made me tea with the most delicious scent. I've loved that tea ever since I came to live here. Tea in my dream. The scent was so clear, I still can't really believe it was a dream. Okay, well, I agree. Uh, you, you're old. Oh, everyone, well done. I've heard from my husband that you solved the problem with the comas and the fog. Our leader is up and about and safe and sound. And it seems it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Estelle, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thanks. It's not nine. Do nothing. It ain't nothing but a thing. A bracer thing. <laughs> Casuals, uh, heroism, just part of the job as a bracer, ma'am. When you find some free time, come back to Roland again, all right? I'll have the best tea and snacks uh, you've ever had. But, like, uh, okay, good, 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 good. Can we have a moment? Oh, certainly. What is it? I'm gonna potentially have to talk to people twice. A whole bunch. Uh, we're looking for a stew. A stew recipe. Hmm? Did you know the recipe, perhaps? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just not very knowledgeable when it comes to cooking. I know I've had the I've had the stew he's talking about. Oh, but I have no idea how to make it. Oh, that's too bad. 
Well, we're not having any luck with clues, are we? Well, no point in letting it bother us, so we've done what we can. Yeah, it'll leave a bad taste in my mouth if we give up at this point. <clears throat> Thanks for your help, ma'am. Oh, no need to thank me. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. I'm sure you're quite overburdened, but we appreciate everything you do. Keep up the good work, alright? Yeah, ma'am, we will. If you'll pardon us, I, I, I don't know who I'm supposed to go to. At this rate, I'm gonna visit the whole town. Uh, people who are good at cooking. Is there anyone who's really good at cooking that I'm forgetting about? Maybe your father Kevin knows. Huh? Hey, FK, what's up? Uh, oh, hey everyone, great work out there. Yeah, you too, Kevin. You were a big help. Thanks for taking care of T1 and the others. Ha! It was nothing but a thing. <laughs> a church thing. <laughs> no big deal. Anyway, anything from my beloved Estelle. Again with that stuff? Come on. Really, he'd be a good match for someone else. Uh, we know in the smooth talking department. Smooth talker, Shara, you wound me. I take beauty very seriously. I mean every compliment that passes my lips. That kind of makes it worse. Uh, anyway, where are you going? Uh, what are you going to do now, Kevin? Well, I think I'm going to keep working my way around the countryside, visiting the churches. I've got some business I need to take care of. Huh? Just a spot of business, huh? Or so you say, but it's probably really important, isn't it? Was it just a coincidence that you happen to stop here? Oh, Estelle, sometimes you're so sharp it hurts. Well, all that aside, I hope we can trade some information again sometime soon. Yeah, let's do that sometimes. Well, take care of yourself, Kevin. You too, Estelle. My guy. Oh, Estelle, your deeds of late have reached even my ears. You have done well to overcome this hardship affecting our town, this plague of fog. Allow me to offer my thanks. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> uh, feels kind of embarrassing being complimented by you, father. We should be the ones thanking you, treating the afflicted and contacting the Grand Cathedral. We owe you much. Huh? No, I simply did my duty as a priest. Still, it is a great comfort to me to see Estelle's growth in these troubled times. Even when you continue on your own, oh, your next appointed destination, do not forget the feelings of today. I won't. Now, if you'll excuse us, Father, take care on your way. May the guidance of the goddess go with you. Okay, well. Nothing. Great. Uh, you two, Sokka, you know anything? A bit ago, a traveling priest was uh, talking to Father Divine. Apparently, the traveling priest was dispatched by the uh, Atyrian High Seat. I was surprised how young and well casual he was. I thought the priests from the Central Church were all super serious and astute. Uh, pop up? Nope, pop up here. There's nobody over here. Yo, who knows about this mysterious- Oh, I'm supposed to be here for something, right? Um... You have to sit next to the goddess? Well, there's a picture of the goddess. While I'm here, I should probably, uh... Sit next to the goddess. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, the, the, the book is in here. I wonder if it's the chair that's up here. Since it's up in the sky? Yeah, I had walked over here and I was like, man, nothing ever happens up here. Oh, you see this chair? It's been placed just to the side of the cathedral. Oi, they say who sits uh, by the side of the goddess. Perhaps it means here. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Gee, Willikers, I thought so. <laughs> it's a card. The second key is next to your, uh, is your, well, I'm sorry, the second key is your next magic circle. Blank is something from the forest. The. Alright, success. Yeah, right. <laughs> this end is nothing like we've seen before. What on earth could it mean? Oh, it looks like it's showing us somewhere. Considering the direction this has taken, uh, until now, probably. It's probably assuming, uh, it's probably appropriate to assume that. Let's look around the city to see if, uh, something, uh, that resembles the hint. Was it like a, uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh! Your next, I understand now, your next clue is that arrangement, and that arrangement, one of those, is probably something from the forest. So, it's probably some trees. I guess so. Arranged like that. Uh, probably in his garden, right? Yeah, 
Be free, bird. Well, that's not exactly the arrangement that I thought. Uh, well, you know, I thought it would be here in the garden, but maybe I'm just incorrect. Well, I mean, there's three here, and then there's two here, but that's not exactly how it was. Um... No, it's nothing over here. It must be something inside of the city elsewhere. Uh, two... Is there a set of three, tree, uh, three trees here? Uh, one, two... One... Oh, I never noticed these signs here. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, for real. Um, oh, I don't want to go here. That's the Malga Trail. Um, I still gotta talk to old people. Oh, there's the other kittens. They're in there. That's kind of dope. Something from the forest. Those are little things. What could it be? There's another tree here. Most of me is thinking like it's got to be something outside. Nothing there. That's the Mulga Trail. I can't walk behind there. I was really thinking it might be like these trees. For real. Like here, you know, there's two here. And there's three here. What's over here? Nothing. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe. But I feel like that would be a little bit, uh... A little bit pushing it. There's some bushes here. I also feel like it wouldn't be so close to the last clue. Unless he's gotten lazy. What's over here? Oh, that's crazy. Probably something from the forest. I also still need to be on the lookout for old people and people who can cook. Um... Not Ina. Uh... Oh, yeah, actually, there's someone up here. You. Um, hello there, can we have a moment of your time? Hmm, what is it? Was something wrong? Something like that, but we just have a quick question. Yeah, I think you are actually probably the, the, the highest, uh, likely person since you run a, a shop downstairs and can cook, and you're old. Yes, I know the one. Used to be very popular around here. Uh? -huh. That's a relief, could you tell us anything about it? Oh, I could tell you plenty. It was your standard dish, uh, in every household back in- BACK IN MY DAY! Yeah, Dental said something about that. This has to be the one. We've been looking for the recipe to that particular dish, ma'am. Would you happen to know the ingredients? Well, yes and no. The recipe I know is probably a little different than what you're looking for. I don't mind telling you my version, just want to make sure that you're aware before you pass it on. Different, different how? I thought it'd be the same recipe. Whatever do you mean? My recipe is one that's been passed down in my family for generations. With, uh, as with any recipe, it's been tweaked here and there over the years. The flavor is likely not what it used to be. Uh, though, as I've said before, I'd be happy to give you my version if that's fine by you. What do you think? Hmm, it's updated a bit, but maybe that's okay. I'd like to find the original if we can. The original will be ideal, yes, but we can't afford to be picky. A slightly ver different version beats the handling, uh, handing the client nothing at all. Fair enough. I agree. It would, uh, hardly do to turn her down after she so kindly offered. Yeah, I see what you guys mean. You'd like it, then. Wonderful, right, right here. I'll grab my recipe book. Something, something in the forest. Something in the city with that arrangement. She is taking her sweet time. Now, now, don't be so impatient. She may be spry for her age, but she is many, many years our elder. We should practice tolerance and wait. Oh my goodness, that's right. No wonder I can't find it. Sorry, children, I kept you waiting much longer than I meant to. I s <laughs> I'd simply be fuming if I were in your shoes. No, 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 you didn't take that long. Um, did you find your recipe book? About that. I burned it last weekend. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it until now, after I tried to start looking, but I actually gave it away a while back. You what? <laughs> oh my. Estelle's gonna use her staff on you. It completely slipped my mind, I'm sorry. He said he'd make a hobby of keeping older books and asked if I could get added to his collection. So he did end up in the right place. 
Uh, I hadn't cracked it open in years, so I thought of nothing of handing it over to him. If only I weren't so generous. Huh? Trust me, I know the feeling. We'll never be able to find out who got it either. Man, what a pain. No point in cursing our luck. What's done is done. Our time uh, would be better spent figuring out what else we can do. Boy, exactly. Maybe we could ask around and see if anyone knows the man who took the book. Yeah. Uh, only one thing to do and I know who it is. You said you like collecting books, right? If you have any idea who that might be, we should try them first. I'm afraid that's all I can remember. I wish I could be more help, really. Yeah, no worries. The game is a pretty big clue. Can't be too many guys out there who love collecting books for fun. Yes, thank you for your help. We'll come around to, uh, if we need to, but in any case, you have yourself a wonderful day, ma'am. Yeah, we're, we know who, we, who this is. For real. Oh, I do want to kind of talk to them, but I want to talk to them after we figure this out, because I feel like they're going to talk about the man uh, in here, up the stairs, and in this room. You. Ah, Stel, what is it? Nothing too important. Kind of admiring your massive collection of books. <laughs> Indeed, I'm quite proud of my collection. Collecting old books is my calling, and this is my cathedral, more or less. Old books is a calling. I wonder, hey, maybe it's worth asking. A bit of wild grasping straws never hurt anyone. Er, you lost me, I'm afraid. Hey, we, Miss Bloom, you got a book, right? So that's the story. So wild as guesses, but I don't suppose you have that book. Miss Bloom's recipe book, right? Who else? Who else would it be? I, it's a wild guess. This is a wild guess. This is my number one guess. He asked her to give me that a while back. Wait, right, seriously? Sure, she had a traditional local recipes and I wanted to make sure it was preserved. I asked her for it and she entrusted it to my care. Okay, cool. Boy, that does sound like our objective. Hey, grope for straws? <laughs> I think it's grass, not grope. <laughs> sure is hard. And eventually you come up big. Let's have a look at the infinite wisdom of the ancients then. Do you mind, Rhett? I don't mind at all. The hitch would be I'm not entirely sure where it is, come to think of it. It's definitely you. Uh, it's definitely my archive, I know that much. <clears throat> It'd be much faster if you search for it yourselves. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, we're the ones asking the favors, so the least we can do. Oh my gosh. Huh? Bloom's recipe book is on the shelf, huh? <laughs> Words. <laughs> we'll read it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is uh, pepper and herb, puchero, meat, uh, bone and meat, aged miso, two maple sugar, five fresh herbs, black pepper, uh, two juicy bones, two dragon beans, dragon beans. I made this reference, dragon beans. <laughs> Kibbled salt and vintage wine. After giving the bone and meat a salt rub, shred on the added herbs, and add the herbs, rather. Uh, prepare as you would typically, um, puchero. Add a touch of fish coolies. Uh, and a fishing touch, uh, if available, keep an eye on the thickness when heating. <laughs> got it. I love a still smug face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> To be totally honest, I'm not sure it makes any sense, but, uh, we can leave that figuring out to the professionals. We have the ingredients list, so let's go and report. I probably have all of that stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... Here, we'll save first, because the bar is... I've passed it, it's right here. Uh, and I still need to figure out the, the clues for, for what's-his-face. How far? Okay, we're not an hour in. I thought we were like an hour in and we're still enrolling. Um, it'll probably be an hour before we finish all three of the things. Hey, take this. Still has your investigation going. Hey, we found a recipe. Oh, you found it already? Man, you guys are fast. Braces are incredible. Uh, might want to hold your praise. Oh, why is that? You see... Uh, this is altered. It's not the original. I see, so that's it. Uh, still can't be too greedy. I'll call it a job. Uh, finish with that recipe. Sorry, Denzel. It'd be best if we found the original, but... Eh, basic parts probably won't be that different. I'll smooth over the rest of my instinct and experience. <clears throat> Pretty confident. Now that's a chief. A chef, not a chief. Well, anyway, let me go over the results of our investigation. Okay, well, there's the recipe. I see. More or less what I expected, but it sure does use some surprising ingredients, alright? Now I can get really good cooking with this. So we're all done here, then? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, is what I'd like to say, but I also asked for help with the ingredients. True, that was a part of the job. Shall we go and collect them, then? Um, just wait a sec. Yeah, we got everything. Thank goodness. <laughs> Shall we go and collect them? Nah, nah. Let me check my infinite pockets. Got them. <laughs> Good work. Now we're all set. Whether I can make a meal that'll satisfy the old man or not, that is up to my skill. All right, bang a gong. We are on. <laughs> Bung. And I came to play. Or I came to cook. I 
I came to cook. I see. So you couldn't find the original recipe. Yeah, I'm really sorry. We asked a lot of people, but in the end, we never found anyone who knew it. We're terribly sorry, sir. No, no, ultimately, it was my selfish request anyway. You didn't know you don't need to be so worried, I admit. It's a bit sad to know I'll never taste that flavor again, though. But Radford, it might be a bit too early to give up. Oh? I'm sure the meal I made will be close to that flavor. The recipe you got, uh, brought rather, still has a nostalgic flavor. There we go. Yes, yes. And while all your old talking is getting cold. Ah, yeah. Looks pretty good. You should eat it while it's still hot. Really, I'd like to think, uh, I'd like, rather, you to think of us watching on the sidelines. I've been sitting here dealing with such a lone, a lovely smell, rather, for a while now. <laughs> such a delectable bouquet. Quite the scent to lure out an appetite. Now, if only there was a fitting wine, that would be the crowning touch. I'm dying for a taste of this. Ah, we got to talking a bit too much. Well, here, let me have at it. Slurp. Choo-choo. Gulp. This is a bit nerve-wracking. Hmm. I know this flavor. What is it? This, this is it! This is the stew I ate in my dreams! Woohoo! Oh my. Gasp. Oh. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> really? Yeah, yes, really. It's not even slightly different from the nostalgic flavor I remember. What I wanted to eat, what I dreamed of eating, this was exactly this. That's incredible, Denzel. You perfectly replicated a recipe from a dream. I mean, I, I, I was pretty confident in it, but I mean, like, that's a bit too generous. I mean, I mean, uh, they, they should call me the dream weaver, I suppose, the master cook. <laughs> no, no, don't be humble. This meal is perfect. This is what I want in every way. Uh, it brings me back to the last days of my youth. The girl I admire was so good at this recipe. Oh! I shed manly tears the day that she wed. Oh! <laughs> well, this is getting a bit soppy. Huh, never heard of that. Sounds like you were quite the passionate one in your youth, old guy. That's the beauty of youth. The beauty of youth indeed. Everything, everything has changed since then. Even that angel of a girl is now a dried apricot now. Oh my gosh. Who are you calling a dried apricot, you old fart? <laughs> that voice is. I'm gonna skewer you and eat my stew. <laughs> Miss Bloom. Really, to badmouth a lady in front of such a crowd. You're as twisted as an old man as you ever were, you. No, no, it was just a play on words. What is it, ma'am? We don't see you much here. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. These people came by my home to ask about a recipe ago, and well, I was curious, so I came by to see. Huh, so this recipe, yes, it's a cooking style passed down in my family. This stew was my best recipe when I was a girl. I made it often for Radford here. So that means, boom, boom, boom. The girl this old man admired was Mrs. Bloom. <coughs> Time is a cruel master indeed. Hmm? What did you say? Yeah, nothing. Well, one way or the other, I'm happy to see people eating this old recipe again. Here, since I've come all this way, let me make it for the first time in a while. You should all enjoy the fair labor of our, uh, of tradition, rather, yourselves. Hooray, don't mind if I do. Yes, please. I'd love the chance to observe some of the tricks uh, to this recipe firsthand. Well, then let me borrow the kitchen. I'ma get hint now, I'ma cook it on up. Cook it on up. Pepper pottage in the recipe book. Oh, mm, oh, mm, oh. Quest completed. <laughs> okay, we still have, uh, we still have to find this thing. Stuff from the forest in the city. The next clue is, oh, hold on, let me, let me break up the map. Is there anything on the map that kind of looks like that? I mean, like, it kind of looks like uh, this, this, these gaps here, but maybe not. My thing is, like, where would it be in these gaps? Like, I'm just guesstimating at this point. Your next shape is this blue block. I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna... Be very kind and not, not, not call you out for real, for real. 
might it be in one of these shops? Oh, actually, now this is done. <clears throat> Welcome to Renon General Goods. I've decided to stay here for a while. I plan on using this opportunity to study for when I start my own shop. Besides, the store owner Renon has been, uh, really good to me. It's as comfortable as being home here. How about you? Hey Estelle, Sherazard. I heard you'll be heading out soon. Wow, news sure travels fast. Mm-hmm. Thanks to you guys, I've been able to resume ordering stock. If you need anything, you should buy before you leave. Yeah, thanks, Renon. If you, uh, get any more rare sneakers in stock, hold them for me. Ha! You got it. Good luck, you two. We'll come back to shop during our downtime, promise. Later, Renon. Man, I was really hoping that, like, you two would, you know, you two would hit it off. But maybe you will. Maybe you will hit it off. Huh? Uh, is there anything else that I, I want in here? I mean, we have some money, so... Uh, this costs 20. We got like 12 of those, that's fine. We have a little bit of maple sugar, that's crazy. We almost didn't have enough for that recipe, that's kinda... That's, no, never mind, I'm reading wrong. No, we, yeah, actually, we didn't have enough of this, but I thought we had less of that, but I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we'll get some more royal leaves. A little bit more black pepper. Yeah, I think we're good for it. Dragon beans, dragon beans. I'm gonna buy more dragon beans. Uh, uh, let me peek around. Nothing like that here. I hate to blue block. <laughs> With every passing chapter, I wish to battle him and and I wish to 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 stomp him into the ground. Blue Blanc, you and I, we are we are not friends. We are we are fiends. We are we are enemies. Hey Tita, how you doing? Uh the whole gang is up there, but you know who's not up there? Blue Blanc, and I'm glad that he's not, because if he was, I'd 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 beat him up. I'd rough him up. Like the the tables are almost in that pattern too. But like there's an extra table here, so no, it's not that. Is there anything up here? Hey, lady, I'm glad that you're okay, but I also don't care enough to talk to you. Um... <sighs> I feel like the last one was super obvious. This one is not. Let me save real quick, just for the sake of saying, hey, let's save real quick. Um... Cause look, all I want to do is get to boss and talk to Mary Maybell because she's cool. She is cool and awesome. That's all I wanted to say. Nothing, nothing crazy. But I also want to go to Pretzel Farm. Uh, but I want to finish this first. I, surely he's not sneaking to people's homes. Well, he actually snuck into this home, so never mind. <laughs> I take all of that back. Uh, this all. I was gonna say this almost matches, but it sure doesn't. It feels like it's not in the- Cheryl was like, let's look around the city, but I feel like I don't see anything in the city that matches that. <laughs> Something found in the forest. Uh, let's go in here real quick. Like, there's only so many places here. It's definitely not in this room. Famous last words. Um, definitely not anything in here that matches that description. Uh... Am I, like, am I tripping? Am I reading this wrong? Uh, your next clue is that design, and that is probably something from the forest. Like a tree. Or a flower. I still feel like it's probably over here, but... Should I just walk around saying, hey... What's going on? I 
Okay, not true. Okay, let me- Ugh. Ugh. I- I- look, I'm clearly missing something. One, two. And are there three on this side? No. I feel like it's gotta be either in his garden. Like, clearly it's not any of this. Uh, could it be, like, on his balcony? Or deep in his house? I would hate to think that he's been just, like, chilling in the mayor's house. Remember when this place got robbed? That's crazy. Not in this room, but, like, he, he, he sure got robbed. Uh, nothing of the like in here. Uh, nothing really of the like in here. I do want to check the balcony, because part of me believes, like, oh, man, it's on the balcony, but it's not. Okay. Great, great, great. Um, I feel like this place has the, the most opportunity, you know? But it doesn't look like it. No, okay. I might just have to walk around aimlessly. And think to myself, oh my gosh, here it is. <sighs> me in the in the editing <laughs> I believe it's time to start cutting things out because I think I'm gonna be walking around rolling for a while it must be inside of a house huh? whose house have I not been in I've been up here it's definitely not in his house huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not in th this house. I know that this is the woodcutter family. It's not in here. That's the back. That almost looks like the, the design, but it has an extra box on top. Maybe I gotta like it. Also not think of like a horizontal layout, but also maybe a vertical layout. I think it, maybe it is. Maybe I'm thinking horizontally and it's vertically, because there's like a bunch of like boxes all around the city, but I'm sure there's like only one that's organized like that, but it has to have like stuff in it from the forest is my only concern. Um, oh my gosh. No, 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 I walked past this a million times, it can't be here. That can't be it, why? But what do you mean from the forest? What did this clue say? Hey, don't these remind you of the, sa the shapes and symbols on the card? The boxes, I mean, they're lined up almost in a perfect match. You're right, I style exactly five boxes too. Looks like we should be investigating. Yep, way ahead of you. Where is it, where is it? Oh, I was gonna say, is it not? Bingo. What is this? What is it? Do do I know what's in those boxes? Maybe I've seen those boxes before. The third key is the, uh, in the city, thank goodness. Uh, search the belly of the eight-eyed iron beast. Honey. That's what's on the new card. Eight-eyed iron beast, huh? It should be in the city, but what could it possibly be? I'm up for another scavenger hunt as ever if everyone else is, though personally, I'd like to find this beast quickly so we can take a well-deserved break. Uh, agreed. Haha, <laughs> no argument from me, let's get it over with. I'm gonna kill Blue Blanc. I'm gonna kill Blue Blanc. Eight eyes? I don't understand, huh? Is it this? When I see iron, I'm just like, it's gotta be something in here. Yep, great. Oh, whore, 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 whore. Yeah, yeah. How about you share a drink with me? Whore, whore, whore. Whore, 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 Eight-eyed iron... Let me read the thing again. 
Search the belly of the eight I eight eyed iron beast. Like uh, most of me would think it's the actual ship, but I don't think we want to go to the ship yet, right? Here. We'll save here and let's walk towards the ship, I guess. Uh, which is straight ahead. Oh uh, yeah, maybe I can just like walk around and not actually talk to the guy. So it's the belly of the eight ironed, eight eyed iron beast. I don't see any eight iron iron beast over here. But most of me is thinking, hey, maybe we have to, to do a thing over here. Finish checking in? No, I have not. I have not started checking it, actually. Uh, those things all have four eyes, quote-unquote. New. No. Oh, I actually think I do kind of know what he's talking about. Wasn't there, like, a machine here somewhere? It's not here anymore. It would be real cheeky to put something right here. Thankfully, the game's not that cheeky, apparently. Eight-eyed iron beast. It said in the city, though. Hey, finally, back in business. Going to be busy around here again. Uh, the Cecilia herself must be pretty fed up with waiting around, too. Hope it flies hard and strong out there today and make up for lost time. Eight-eyed iron beast. The beastie boy. Eight-eyed iron beast. Those have three eyes. Is it something up here, maybe? Now. Oh, Anton, you're the one with the... Get out of here. I even, like, read the name Anton and didn't, like, register that it was that man's. Eight-eyed iron beast. One of your rooms have anything crazy in it? No. Any eight-eyed iron beast in here? No. Beastie boys? Beast boys from the Teen Titans? Uh, beast? Let me think. It's not a clock. A clock has, what, eight? Not eight. Whoops. Um, I'll check the church, but at this point, no, I, there's nothing in the church. Famous last words. Uh, I've been in there, I've been in there. I've not been in you? You have an eight iron iron beast? Eight eyed iron beast? I see no irons here. I see nothing there. I see nothing here. You have nothing for me. Okay. Eight iron, eight eyed iron. Ooh, wait a minute. That's it. Okay. This is Elgar's Forage. I feel like I even, like, saw this thing, but I've never, like, made a, a, a note of it in my brain. It's not lit. If anything, it's freezing, but you think this is it? Eight-Eyed Iron Beast? Yeah, but I'm not super confident, but I think so. Let's check it out anyway. Yoinky Sploinky Kerbloink. I still find a card inside and a key in its hearth. Aha, found it. Okay, let's see. I hate Blue Blanc. Please be the last one. Take this key and uh, throw open the unopening door. That which you seek lies in the land beyond. Huh? Rusted key. So we found a key, but a key to an unopening door. There's a bunch of them here. I would assume that the door is somewhere in the city. As always, it's probably a metaphor. Let's look for something that might be taken as a door. If we must. Feels like we're getting towards the end, at least. Let's continue searching. Dang it! Where is there an unopening door? I'm gonna scream. Doodly do do a doodly do. There's two over here, actually. Uh, what was the clue? 
Found a key to somewhere. Where does this unopening... I'm gonna scream. There's a lot of unopening doors here, aren't there? There was one up here, too, but, like, these are, like... Huh? There's none in here. There's none in there. It's in this within city bounds. Uh, everything in the mayor's house opens. I don't think there's a bunch of unopening doors here, actually, to be honest. Nothing in there, nothing in there. All these doors open, all the house doors open. There's no doors in there. Dang it. Where is this? Doors that don't open, where are doors that- Is there a door in the church that doesn't open? It's a rusty key, a rusty key. No, there's not a door in here that doesn't open. We've actually been in here. They wouldn't make me come back in here. Um, there's not one in the hotel. Who are you guys? Huh? The mist finally cleared up. Now I can go hog wild on photographing. I think I'll start with the clock tower. It's kind of like rolling symbol after all. Gotta admit though, knowing its history it makes it hard to snap the shutter like a fiend. Feels like you've got to get the proper respect for the history into every frame. Yeah, that's where my mom died. <laughs> Yikes. Unopening door. Sewer? There's a door in the sewer. Right? Yeah, there's a door like straight shot in the sewer here. That I've asked <laughs> a couple of times about. I'm sure we'll open this at some point. I'm not trying to fight you, so... Nice. I'm not trying to fight you either, so... Nice. Is it on this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Ooh, that took way long, less long than I thought it had to. I'll probably leave that in. I was wondering uh, what we we're gonna find here. But it's just a bunch of junk, huh? Estelle, wait. I probably was gonna say it's probably a monster. What? Y'all, I'm gonna snap Blue Blanc's right ankle. Ask questions later. For now, stand your ground and fight. Man, it's not even like, it's not even the good song, man. It's not even the, oh, God. man. Hey, yo, miss me with this. I'm about sick and tired. I'm about sick and tired of everybody. And those things suck up my health. Where is, who is this, Olivier? These guys have so much HP. Take that. Uh, are they weak to anything? They're pretty weak to fire and rock. So good to know. Um, I mean, we have rock, so I mean, maybe why not? But also, uh, no, we haven't lost that much. Time, but... That didn't do too much. Man. You're the lowest, you first. Huh? You odd, just pretty much immediately got your health back. Huh? Yay. This is Chloe. Chloe, you start healing some people, I guess. Huh? I guess really just Olivier. Don't want to hit that guy. Uh, Shara, do you have fire? You do. Use good fire. Oh, Chloe might die. Okay, Chloe lives. Don't. Chloe, heal yourself. <sighs> she can't see, but I don't think you really need magic to see, so... Was so close. That's on me. Oh, she's about to die. Another. Yeah. 
Uh, she'll, she'll revive her. It's whatever. Uh, she'll also heal a bunch of people when she gets hit again. Um, if anything, she should probably heal Olivier. You'll still have a chance to go. Just get rid of one of them, I guess. Huh? I'm about sick and tired. That one's almost gonna kill that one. Bro, you still don't have... Whatever. I mean, these guys are all pretty much full HP. What's up, sir? I think I just want to impede, right? Or attempt to impede? We're blind, so I doubt it's gonna hit. Which one's doing it? This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You tried. He's not gonna die. Yeah, I was gonna say, he could die. Let's go ahead and just do that. Let's pop some of that. Oh, well, she's dead. <laughs> Again! Whoops. Oh, no. A another one? I'm sick and tired of these dummies. Can you make it over to Shara? You don't have to. That's not how magic works. <laughs> uh, you still have this thing, Happy Trigger, so you should probably do this on... Uh, I guess all three of you. Shara's gonna need it the most, but it is what it is. I guess he'll share it for a thousand. She's still gonna die. She's still gonna die. I am about sick and tired of these these things specifically. I'm 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 gonna scream. I guess we could chain. That does some damage, I guess. And everyone's okay on, on things, so I'm just gonna say, hey, I guess you could start doing some of these things, but like, I don't know if that's worth it right now. Uh, I mean, that's pretty dope. I feel like it's not gonna be super duper worth it though here. Get those three of them. Olivia, don't die. You don't die either. Thank you. That wasn't. Well, I guess they healed. I'm about sick and tired. <laughs> Comet? Olivier is gonna need a heal. This 
swallow We're good to go. Okay, that's a problem. She's dead. Sorry. <sighs> Why'd they give me so many of these dummies? No, like, for real, you have to revive her. But they're just gonna sap her dry. And Olivia doesn't have enough to do anything good. The worst part is, like, one of them's full health and the rest of them are, like, half. But they're gonna be, like, more than half in a minute. Made of dust and grime. I hate it. You do have a fire move, I guess, but the fire isn't even that good. Hit that one. Ice up the They're gonna... Well... The fact that they keep calling these things is what's bringing me a tremendous displeasure. I'm gonna have to fight this again. Sir, you use your stone impact. You're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. They're gonna HP absorb forever. She's dead. Olivier, it's all you. At least you got one of them. My dude. How could I fail? Godspeed. I hate Blue Blanc. <laughs> With a passion. Okay, much better start. Uh, we petrified one immediate one of one of those things immediately. Um, you have a crit, so I feel like you should probably do do something. Um, hit somebody. Hit that guy. Eight. Eight. I don't want to hit my new friend. There we go. That'll do. I'm okay with this. Um, Sarah, you could not steal the crit. Uh, we are going to target one of them. Uh, man, you just... Use, use this dark matter, I guess. Everyone just wail away on one of them, for real. That didn't do nearly as much as I wanted to do. No, my new friend, he's dead. Also, that's a crit. That's gonna be a big yikes. That's not big yikes. That's just more big yikes. <sighs> no, we gotta take them out as soon as possible. Super HP with our I don't want to use that yet. I want to continue popping that. Uh, hey, pop it on this guy. I, I don't think you can petrify these things, but like, give it a shot. I mean, fuck okay, you. Yeah. Alright, well, one of them's dead. Yay. I unfortunately think I need you. Right decision. Because she would have died. Um, you. Or you. One on the back has less, but I think all four of us can attack the one on the front before they have another chance to go. So everyone wail away. Uh, uh Olivia. Unfortunately, I I don't want to waste a crit, so just take that shot. Yeah. Another 3,000 on you. Olivia, you're far in the back, so I don't expect it to. Never mind. As long as they don't call for help, we should be pretty much okay. Um, even if they call for help at this point, having to deal with it. That's a, I don't know if you do 1100, that's the problem. Good enough. Um, 
Now you heal Olivier. Come on, don't call for help. Thank you. Big breach. Alright. Probably shouldn't have done it that one, but it is what it is. Uh, good. Uh, good. Uh, man, hit it. Okay, good. That was not as bad. It was still not great. <laughs> I also feel like we probably should train the gang a little bit. Whew. Artfully done. Indeed. I'm sorry. Oi. Indeed. Having something like that come out of nowhere, be still my quaking nerves. Yeah, I've seen those, uh, seen monsters quite like, i uh, never seen monsters quite like those before. I suppose this is our Phantom Thieves way of saying hello? For an uncouth villain such as he, likely. This seems to be the last obstacle, however. Right, all that remains now is getting that commission letter back. Let's look around, it must be in this room. All oh, right, probably shouldn't forget that. Ah, uh, no, nah, let's just get out of here. I just wanted to see what's in this room. And you know what? Uh, I no longer care what's any uh, behind any locked door. Nope, I can't say I care at all. We got it. Okay, letter recovered. Boy, let's return it as soon as possible. I'm sure the Mind Chief is worried. Probably. Right. I hate Blue Blanc. You know Blue Blanc, I hate him. Ah, good. Whew. Estelle, if you were older, I would owe you a pitcher of beer the size of your head. You saved my butt today. I didn't think that you'd get it back so quickly either. Guess that's like why they call you the Great Hope of Roland's Young People. That's what that's what they call her? Ah, come on, that's embarrassing. You just did the job, that's all. Haha, <laughs> acting all humble, eh? Come on, young people have a right to be puffed up and proud sometimes. Let loose a little. That aside, though, I'd like uh, to know, rather. That blue block maniac, please tell me you caught him and put him in the irons. Really wish we had. Sadly, he's escaped, uh, capture for years. Estelle explained all she knew of Blue Blanc's history and how much uh, this was a crime of pleasure, not gain. So this guy's internationally famous. What a son of a... Well, so, what? He just came all the way out here for the sole purpose of messing with our lives? He really is a maniac. I can't understand that kind of, thing of, uh, that kind of thinking, rather. Trust me, I think everyone here agrees with you. Though I'd still, uh, think you should be a little bit more uh, careful, rather, with that letter regardless. But what time I got? Okay. I need to make sure that <laughs> I have an alarm that's about to go off. I don't want it to just go off during this, uh, this recording. Here we go. Perfecto. Alright. Let's do it. This time it was actually a prank of sorts, but he proved uh, the letter could be stolen for blackmail or the like. It's a good point. I think I'll add some sort of way to secure the letter better. Problem is, there's no real safe place in my house to store it. Maybe I should do as I thought when I first got this and ask Mayor Klaus to put it in a safe. I was gonna say, the mayor has a big old safe, why not? Yeah, that should work, right? It'd be per fact well, depending on the thief, it might get stolen, but it's safer, I guess. I was gonna say, that thing has already, be, already been opened and robbed from. The problem is, Mayor Klaus already got robbed once in recent memory. Haha, <laughs> come now, there's no need to dwell on that. It's a capital idea, you should ask the mayor at once, sir. Yeah, didn't want to trouble him, but I'll go ahead and ask. For now, though, it's, uh, uh back to the mine with me. Alright, back to the work. Yeah, the... Septium export market never slows down. No matter how much we dig out, we can't keep up with the demand. I mean, hell, you use ornaments, you know how important Septium is. Ha, yeah, painfully so. We're pretty much always bringing our heads against the counter at the Orbital Factory, lamenting our lack of Sepith. Huh? Indeed, it is a problem. The specialty quartz that I require the fullest of my abilities is devilishly hard to make. Wait, really? I didn't realize braces were that hard up for Sepith. You just need some Sepith shards and not some true Sepith crystal cores, right? Here, take some with you. Brought a few bags home just yesterday. What, you can just give us Sepith? Yeah, ain't it a big deal. We can always dig up more in the mine and the big ticket items of the true crystals anyway. Which element would you like to use? Uh, I think we're really short on wind, so we'll take the winds. Of course. When you think Roland, you think green Sepith, don't you? <laughs> Does he say that for every single one? Well, it may not be much, but hopefully it'll help you out at the factories. Uh, be sure to get some good quartz, alright? Yeah, you bet. Thanks a ton. You're really too kind, Katon. Well, I'm off to the mine, then. Estelle, make sure you come back to Roland soon, alright? Everyone misses you and your dad. Hey! Frieza! Anya! I'm off to the mine again! Alright, take care! Ta-da! Come home soon! I'll be a good girl and wait. Yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can, Anya. <laughs> Anya? <laughs> Pinkish hair? Small child? You be good and help mom out while I'm away, okay? Okay. 
dull. Oh, it warms the heart, doesn't it? Even Katan isn't immune to these blood sugar problems, I think. I'm off. Yes, good luck at the mine. Take care, Chief. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, let's get out of here. Never again. Except it's gonna happen again, and I still hate Blue Block, and I will never not hate Blue Block. He is, uh, he's enemy numero uno for me now. He's enemy numero uno. Anton, what's your stupid request? God, as I beg of you, help me find a way to get closer to that gorgeous woman. Um, got a sec? Huh? Are you in love with the cat girl? The girl with the, the kitties? Okay. Um, hello. Are you from the guild by any chance? Yep, that's right. Yes, we saw your post on the board. Would you be Anton? Yep, that's me. The one only Anton from the capital. And though we've just met, my request is fairly urgent. I don't think the job will be too hard, though. What do you say? Are you ready to hear me out? Sure. Sure thing. So what is it you need us to do? Right, well, you see, I like to gather ingredients for a certain medicine. Er, here's a list of what I need. Uh, yep, uh-huh, okay, I think I got all that. <clears throat> okay, putting aside the monster bits. I'm not too familiar with a pearl glass is, but it does sound familiar. Pearl glasses are river fish. I need their livers to make the medicine I want. Uh, they're found primarily in freshwater rivers with a lot of floating plants. Freshwater... Plenty of plant life. All right, I got it. Done writing it down? Great, great. Uh, it's all up to you guys then. Don't let me down. Huh? That's it? Hold on a second. We've still got questions. Huh? Why? What more do I need? Do you need to know? I gave you lots of details. You just said you were making medicine. What kind of medicine is it and for what purpose? You need to know both the name and its intended use. Why should I tell you that? Any medicine incorrectly used can be a deadly poison. As protectors of peace, we cannot support or condone criminal activity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good job, Olivier. If you've nothing to hide, then it should be no problem to tell us. I suppose that makes sense. All right. Uh, what I'm looking uh, to make is a medicine called Diaset Secret. For a while, you take it. <clears throat> After you take it, rather, no amount of liquor can get you drunk. Uh, I've heard about it from Father Divine, so I trust that it works as described. Whoa, not even a little drunk? That's pretty incredible, actually. How curious. How interesting. <laughs> what nonsense. Drink without getting drunk is, I mean, what's even the point of drinking in the first place? The way you drink kind of messed up, uh... The way you drinks, rather, kind of messed up in the first place, Shara. Oi, but why would you need such a thing? Is there some upcoming party you cannot gracefully ex uh, extra extricate to yourself from? Sort of. Uh, you might say it's a drinking party and no, I can't back out. So that's why I need the medicine. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Ha, I understand the feeling all too well. Do you really need to get that drunk though? Can't you just drink a little and stop? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Trying to cheat your way out of good, bu uh, good buzz rather is an insult to responsible drinkers everywhere. I can hardly believe you will talk about drinking responsibly with a straight face. I'm sure the irony is completely lost on her. Anyway, are you satisfied now? Y yeah I suppose. Once we have the ingredients, we'll come back here and deliver them to you. Awesome, thanks! A and good luck, my future depends on it, so don't take this request lightly. Um... Can't see how on earth... <laughs> your future depends on this, but sure, okay. Hey, we're done. Uh, leave. Let me make sure that we're done. Uh, Bracer Notebook, do you mark these things off when I have them? Uh, five prickly seals, five savory pignon, and five monster caprice. Uh, one pearl glass. Five monster caprice. Okay, we got plenty of that. Uh, savory pignon. Uh, where is that? Do I have any of that, actually? Uh, we have a bunch of prickly seeds. Savory... Oh, no, I just passed it. We have 44. Yeah, we're done here. Hey, Anton. Got a sec? Hmm? Oh, wow. Back already? No, we never left. Could it be? Did you really bring the ingredients for the medicine? Uh, right you are. Go ahead and check them out. Here you go. Oh, you did it. You got them all. Thank you. Thank you, bracers. Woohoo! Come on. Let's get this baby made. Uh, we're coming with you? 
Naturally, you're the one to help make this all possible. It's only right that we taste the bittersweet, uh, the sweet rather moment of truth together. I kind of get the sentiment, but this is just weird. Well, whatever. Let's go with him and get this job closed out. How could we refuse an invitation to bask in his glory? Bask in his glory! That's what I like to hear. Off to Father Divine we go. We're off to see the Father. To Father Divine we go. Hmm. Thank you for waiting, though. Medicine is done. Here, take it. This is DSS secret. Gulp. This is the medicine I've been looking for. This is it. A medicine to keep you from getting drunk, no matter how you, how much you drink. That is true. However, the effect is only applicable if you follow all the directions and use the correct dose. Ah, who? I finally got it. Now I can confess my feelings to Ina with my head held high. <laughs> Ina? Bro. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Did he just say Ina? Oh, I can't let that go. Yeah, that lovely girl in the guild. I mean, she is lovely. She's a heavy, apparently a heavy drinker, but that's no problem as long as I'm prepared. If, this, uh, if I drink this medicine, I can invite her out and survive. You made this medicine to take Ina out on a date. <laughs> that's both gutsy and kind of pathetic. <laughs> At the same time, still thinking about it, this might be a golden opportunity. If we miss this moment, no one might ever drink Ina under. <laughs> I like the way you think. I'd love to see Ina get crushed under the weight of her liquor for what Sarah's I was like, actually, you know what, hold on, I'm gonna let y'all cook. Oh, so you'll help? I'd like to find a way to invite her from the guild. A noble mission. We will endeavor to do our most to aid you. Would meeting at the bar work? Yeah, that should be fine once she hears this is crazy. <laughs> There's drinking involved. I'm sure Ina will show up. Hold it, Sarah. Now, where's the problem? We're already on board with it. We should always strive to go with the extra anger uh, for our client. Right. She just wants to drink, doesn't she? Man, I knew that I was right to hire the bracers. You really care about your clients. I'm heading to the bar, so see you in a bit. Let us be off, brother. <laughs> So, I hope Anton survives. Oh, that young man is far too hasty. I haven't even finished the explaining the medicine. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I doubt Ina will take up the offer anyway. Just you watch. Anyway, come by the bar if you're interested. I'll drag Ina there later. Oh no. I came because I was curious, but it seems like Sharon and Ina aren't here yet. Boy, they might have gotten tied up at the guild. Yeah, let's take a seat and wait around for a bit. No, Estelle. It seems that won't be necessary. What? Ina! Oh, the boys! This is a double date? Sorry to drag you all the way out here, Ina. Will the guildhouse be okay? Yes, I'm having Ridge mine the front, uh... The front of house for now. An important part of the receptionist's work is to talk, uh, with the clients after all. Forgive me for making you come out here when you're busy. No, don't let it bother you. Now, what was it you wanted to talk about? <laughs> let us begin. Y yes please huh? she, she really brought her! <laughs> oh, it looks like she's using the client consultation as an excuse. <laughs> well, it is kind of a consultation, but I wonder if Ina will get mad. No, there's alcohol involved. Well then, first a toast to this wonderful meeting of the minds. <laughs> yes, let's. Uh, sure, I don't mind, but are you okay, Anton? Drink before a consultation? Uh, it's, it's okay, bring it on. I may look like this, but my tolerance for alcohol is pretty a amazing. <laughs> is that so? I guess you really can't tell by looking. <laughs> well then, cheers. Oi, they're already drinking. But if Olivier is participating too, then... Did he have some of that medicine? Y yes. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> He seems very confident, so... Ha, ha, ha. Oh, really, what a joke, Ina. Yep. Now then, let's get to the main topic. Uh, may I inquire the reason of your request? Y yeah so about that. Um, uh, Ina? Yes? Please go... Please go out with me! <laughs> Ina's like, what? Go out, you mean like... Like that? Y yes, please. I cannot bear to live without you anymore. Well, that's rather sudden. I'm not sure how to respond. 
Ina, I can understand Ina's confusion. Uh, the bonds of man and woman are not that rationally, uh, not such that rationally, not rationality, I can read, might know. They are not a problem that one might solve through thinking. But I need to have some kind of solution. Am I just supposed to live crushed under the weight of these feelings? Uh, fear not, young man, I have an excellent plan. Shall we settle this with a contest? Contest? Meaning? The battle stage, a bar. Having said that, the weapons at your disposal should be clear. I see. A drinking contest, then. Well, that's an interesting suggestion. Still, it would be unjust to cast poor Anton in such a ring as such. Let us attach a handicap to Ina. Alright, but what kind of handicap? I shall take the field with Anton. In other words, you contest the two of us. Alright. <laughs> Deal, I accept your challenge. <laughs> Now we're talking. <laughs> I'll serve as a referee then. <laughs> However, I have my own condition. Well, what condition would that be? We'll use the strongest liquor they have here. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> when I say alcohol, I mean business. <laughs> I apologize, but I can't waste too much time on this. <laughs> oh my gosh, understood. As expected from Ina. She was like, I have things to do, so we're getting drunk and we're getting drunk fast. Oh my gosh. Uh, that should be enough for now. It's enough to make a, a rhino cider go cross-eyed. Thank you, Faulkner. Now, shall we begin? <laughs> I am ready. Yes, let's. Alright, I'll do my best. And they're off. Oh yes. <laughs> the look of concern on Chloe's face. Oi, they're gonna die. <laughs> Hopefully that medicine has an effect. Ah, that's five. Ah, it really hits you right in the gut. <laughs> I've cleared five myself as well. That would be t ten between the two of you, then. A pretty good pace, I'd say. Yes, really. Perhaps too good, though. If you go right through it too fast, the liquor will hit you all at once, you know? No, no, I wouldn't get that drunk over this. Indeed, and my liver feels especially strong today as well. Now let's keep up the pace. Both of them look pretty good. I wonder if the effect, uh, this is the effect of the medicine. Boy, on the other hand, Ina's oppression, uh, expression rather hasn't changed at all. Well, she is Ina. This might be a better match than I thought. <laughs> They're gonna die, man. Whew. 20. And how are you two? I, I finished 10. And that was my 10th as well. Oh, no, he's starting to get drunk. Well, then, they are also at 20. You're evenly matched. My, what a surprise. Your pace hasn't slowed at all since we started drinking. Heh. <laughs> Just like that, I said at the start, right? But I gotta admit, my throat's burning a bit. Yes, it feels like it's been scorched. Do uh, you don't feel it at all, Ina? Oh, is something wrong with your throat? Do you have a cold? Uh-oh. I was asking the wrong person, it seems. <laughs> if you're not feeling too well, uh, felt, don't, not feeling well, rather, don't force yourself. I don't want to cause trouble for the store, after all. Y yeah. Let us continue our match. Oh, here it goes. Oh my gosh! F Fifteen. <laughs> uh, even my stomach burns. Huh? Anton? Ah. What is it? Are you feeling okay? It seems you spaced out there. No, no, I'm okay, of course. Anton, keep it together! The medicine's effect hasn't faded yet. Y yes! Ina's already quite drunk her- uh, already drunk quite a lot herself. No matter how strong a drinker she is, her limit should be close. But Olivia, hey? She doesn't seem bothered at all. Just look at her. She's not even the slightest bit red. Nope. Hmm? What is it, you two? <laughs> I think y'all should tap out. If you're a man, then be not troubled by such trivial things. Beyond here is a battle of wills. Now overcome it with your love and courage. I got it! <laughs> are... Are you sure you're okay? If you're not feeling well, then you should give up sooner than later. Thank you for your thoughtfulness, but if we we have no intention of surrendering. Yes, yes, this is where things get really interesting, Ah, Sherazard, you, you piece of work. Now let us continue the match. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Number 36. I'm 18! <laughs> Me too, 18. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're not looking very good. Do you intend to keep going? <laughs> What a thing to ask now. Haha. <laughs> yeah. If I back down now, I couldn't really be called man. 
Anton? <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hide a body. <laughs> Anton! Uh oh. Um. <laughs> uh, and there goes Olivier. Hang in there, you two. Uh, Olivier? <laughs> Oi, they're completely wasted. Maybe the medicine wore off. Huh? Really, that's too bad. Taya, I thought I'd see Ina get sunk in her cups. I guess that medicine was only a veneer of strength in the end. Medicine? Okay, so actually... Oh, hey, it's Father Divine. Hmm, this is bad. <laughs> oh, Father. <laughs> um, what brings you here? I heard the two youths were having a drinking contest. I had a suspicion, and it seems I was correct. <laughs> yep, they're totally trash. Seems like the medicine wore off, so... Oh, no, normally that medicine should last for a whole evening, however... Most likely, these two shared it between themselves. Without the intended quantities, the effect won't be as expected. Ah, so they, they are, they are halfsies. Boy, so that's how it happened. Everyone make sure you obey the usage instructions when taking medicine. I think I see what's going on. I thought it was odd for Olivier to suddenly invite me. Ah <laughs> right? I guess that's just going to strengthen his trauma, huh? Anyway, I'll take the responsibility of taking care of these two. It seems they've imbibed quite a bit of unhealthy amount of liqueur. <laughs> yes, please. I need to get back to the guild. What is it? Ina, you smell strongly of alcohol yourself. Uh, you've had quite a bit yourself, it seems, but you are not drunk. Me? Oh no, this was hardly anything. I drank, sure, but that was just barely enough to be social. Oh, Ina. Huh? <laughs> I, I feel like uh, we've heard quite the amazing statement. <laughs> Seriously, you're a bottomless pit. I see, well, then that's fine. <laughs> you do smell of liquor, it's true, but you don't seem to be drunk. Then, if you'll pardon me, take, uh, well, Sherry Guard, take care of the rest, thanks. Oh, and you can put it on Olivier's tab. <laughs> I love Al. <laughs> I, uh, that's, that's that part of you that never misses anything that I was. I, I love it. I, I, I love it. I, 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 <laughs> Nice. You may now reconfigure your party. Please to- uh, <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> He's dead! Great. Here. All right. Yeah, I guess that's fine. No, I feel like we should bring oh, okay. Tita. Tita's level 50. That's not Tita good. Now. We should probably train Tita up a little bit. I should probably actually do some in-between episode grinding. Let me bring up uh, this comment real quick, though. Uh, I finally got in some quality drinking time. Circumstances aside, I really have to thank you guys. Uh, you're welcome, I guess, but... Oh, by the way, whatever happened to Olivier after? Don't worry, the Father Divine gave him a clean bill of health. He's a bit slow on the uptake right now, but I'm sure he'll be able to do his job. He's upstairs if you need him. Sure. Oh no, he's dying! <laughs> he's still not okay! Ah, oh, greetings! Did you need something? Yep. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> if you need the power of my genius, <laughs> my drinkness. <laughs> oh, wait, <please>. <laughs> Bye, Tita. <laughs> hey, Aina, how are you? I've already ordered tickets for the next liner. Uh, just let Alan know yeah, that you're all squared away. At this point, the only reason uh, where there hasn't been an experiment is boss. I'm worried that they're going to just keep getting rougher and tougher. Uh, not anything you can't handle, though. I know we can count on you. Keep up the good work, okay? I'm rooting for you. Any extra stuff? Okay, nothing. All right. Well, let's actually report our things. Huh? Yeet, yeet, and yeet. And yeet. Yeah, we sure did. Let me know if you... I, I think we did everything, right? Everything's good? Yeah. Alright, clean, clean, clean. Um... He's in the party, right? I thought we had uh, optional conversations. Hey, Father Divine, what's up? Ah, yes, about that contest from the bar a bit ago. I've treated the two young men who were incapacitated by their drinking. There should be no concerns of alcohol poisoning now. I'll speak of the devils. Olivia, are you feeling well now? Heh, <laughs> somehow. My apologies for taking up your time, good sir, but you need worry no more. That's good to hear, however. 
No matter how confident you are, excessive drinking should be avoided. If you keep up with I know, you'll ruin your health very quickly. Y yeah, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> he almost died. Can I talk to you again now? Okay, so nothing. Alright, well, I think we got her optional conversation, I guess. Uh, Anton and Ricky are in their hotel room. Not that one. Go back, huh? Oh, no! <laughs> Anton! I don't feel good. Father Divine treated him, but it seems like Anton's still feeling pretty bad. Might not be able to leave him alone for a bit. Uh, uh. Well, he's not good. <laughs> he's bad. Uh, let me see. Well. <laughs> good night, Anton. God bless. I think we're not done. The last people I want to go and see are the Pretzel Farm. Uh... <laughs> They're this way, right? Am I tripping? I hope I'm not tripping. I felt like it was this way, but it really might- No, it's definitely this way, because all of these dumb freaking Venus fly traps. It's definitely this way, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's cut this way. No. Thank you. Pretzels! How are you guys? Hey, Mr. Pretzel. Oh, Estelle and Sherazard. Seems we're in your care again, not long after that monster hunt from before. I heard from Father Kevin that apparently this is all thanks to you. No, I've still got a lot to work on. This ca this case rather made it pretty clear. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you got slapped. That's enough humility from you. <laughs> it's the unique privilege of the young to be able to reflect honestly on their mistakes. Be sure to treasure that feeling. Okay, well, that's pretty dope. How are y'all kids doing? Hi, Estelle. When I woke up, there was this really weird priest guy, and I was kind of scared. But he was actually kind of fun. And then I, uh, he had this really cool weapon, too. Especially for a priest. I hope he comes by again. Father Kevin sure is nice. It was fun talking to him. He played with me, too. He's kind of like Joshua. Oh, Father Kevin. He's, he's, he's the goat. I'm gonna talk to her last, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you first. Thanks for coming, you two. I know how much we owe you. As a way of saying thanks, please accept this as our special blend of tea. No, I could no. You better take that tea, Estelle. I wish I'm gonna probably go and buy some tea tomorrow because I could use some tea. It is uh, one day this week. My voice uh, was uh, trash when I woke up. It was awful. Ha! Huh. You're just like him. The priest said the same thing. Ha! Did he now? It's not like we're strangers, you know. Uh, you don't need to be so formal with me, Estelle. Uh, when you're being offered something out of the goodness of someone's heart, there's nothing wrong with taking it. Go ahead, Estelle. Unders I understand you're trying to be polite, but this is Hannah. She's not going to judge you. Yeah. Okay, then. Premium herb tea. When you get tired, drink that, and it'll put you right back in you. Uh, spear right back in you, so I assume it'll wake you up from sleep. Wow, thanks, Hannah. Indeed. <laughs> we appreciate your thoughtfulness. Tis the least I could do. If you have the time, please do come back and visit again. We will. You know we will. Girl. Uh, now let's talk to Tio. Uh, Estelle and Shara. Hey, Tio. Uh, how are you feeling? Fine, totally fine. Kevin told us all the details. I can't help but worry, uh, but cause you to worry, huh, Estelle? But you don't need to worry anymore. Everything's just fine. I, yeah, I'm glad. I really am. I was a bit surprised when I woke up, though. That guy Kevin was right in front of me. Ahaha! <laughs> yeah, I can see that how we might be a little surprising or freaky. It's not as if he has what you call a common look. Yeah, I didn't believe he was a priest at first, and neither did she. But he really looked after us. He, we really didn't get a chance to show it either, but we're very thankful to him. He even played with the kids before he left. He really looked uh, after us right until the last minute. Yo, Father Kevin. One's up for that, man. He is a goat. Um, let's get out of this town. <laughs> I hate Blue Blanc. I hated the fog. <laughs> and all I wanted to do, I was so excited to be back here and rolling, and I couldn't even see it. <laughs> man... Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm on the right path. Get me out of here. I'm freaking sick and tired. Um, I guess we're done. Yeah, let's save. Not done here, because I do want to do the airship, and I want to talk to Mayor Maybell. That's 
That's all I wanted to do for a long time. Here, take take my tickets. Take me to boss. Take me to boss. Hey, Estelle, you're heading out already? Yeah, oh no, I'm I'm definitely heading out. We were here for like an hour and some change. Yeah, there's kind of a lot going on. Our current job's done. I totally intend to come back to take a load off, a load off rather, for a while. You really should. We'll be waiting. Uh, anyway, we've got your tickets ready and they've been paid for by Ina. Ready to check in? As always, we should wait for the ship once we check in. Do you have any other business in Roland that you need to take care of? No, no. Uh, let's fly. Alright then. I'll give the Guildhouse a ring and call the other members of your team. I really think we talked to almost everyone in town, too, to be honest, except for the mom of, uh, the girl who works at the bar whose name is not coming to me right now. <clears throat> Estelle's team checked in for their flight and waited for the airship. <laughs> you know what's really bad? <laughs> I'll probably, one day I'll just, like, talk to somebody who's played this game and I was like, you know what? I really like Roland. Like, I go in and I talk to the old Irish couple that runs that shop, and they're like, what Irish couple? You know, um, the guy, the guy and the girl who, who run that shop, they have the forge behind the place. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, they're not Irish, or like, they are to me. <laughs> Every single time, they say, top of the morning to you. <laughs> It's our dude, Professor Russell. Russell. I see, now we have a gospel influencing the people's minds. Using the fog's, uh, uh, particular, uh, particulate, rather, matter as a medium to exert mental control over a large area. Now, that settles one question, at least. Excuse me, Professor. Cassius, you old dog, good timing. Escaped Lyston, did you? Yes, I finally managed to finish a bit of work. I thought I'd stop by and see how you're holding up. What kind of sword is that? What's this, a report from your granddaughter? Yes, it arrived express from Roland. Thanks to Tita's report, I'm quite certain of my theory now. About the gospel, I'm assuming. Yes, uh, though it's ultimately still just a hypothesis at this point. I've gone over it again and again, both on paper and with the capital, though. Um... So I'm reasonably sure of this. Shall I go over it? Absolutely. Right then. Ahem. So, what we've been calling the gospel's orbital shutdown phenomena. Tell me, what do you think it is, based on what you've seen and heard? It's an effect that occurs that any orbital device located near an active gospel chaining from one to another and it renders these devices inert while a gospel is active. That's how it seems to me, at least. <clears throat> half right, half wrong. What you're describing is closer to the orbital Arts Anti-Sept. It shorts out the internal circuit, uh, quartz circuits, rather, of an ornament to temporarily suspend its functions. The phenomena generated by a gospel, however, is fundamentally different. It steals all the orbital energy formed in an ornament down to the very last jewel. So it's more of an orbital absorption phenomenon. Yes, to make it uh, a comparison to a combustion engine, it's like a uh, siphoning out the petrol. Hmm. But wait, unless I badly misunderstand physics, that means the gospel should absorb and store all of that power, correct? Good eye, lad. <laughs> You've noticed a very important fact. So I've measured a gospel after it absorbs energy, but the gospel does not actually hold any of it. Not even a single EP is worth, so where does it go? It can't just destroy it. Is it possible the energy is being vented into the wider environment? No, not at all. The energy disappears completely, utterly, and quite impossibly thanks to thermodynamics. I was gonna say, that's not how that works. But the professor was like, yes, I know how it works, and it does not. <laughs> Furthermore, these new gospels Estelle's group has been encountering, every time they're encountered, they cause unbelievable phenomena that even our best orbital engineering can't explain. It's unclear how they're causing such effects, but I can say one thing with confidence, and that is... They're too small! Huh? I can say with certainty that any device enabling such massive effects could not fit in the palm of one's hand. Even if the society somehow possesses technology centuries ahead of our own, nothing that small could contain that much potential energy. Uh, I think I'm starting to see where this is going. You're saying the gospels must be terminals then, access points of some sort. Exactly. Interesting. Huh. The only function the gospel unit itself has 
is an ability to manifest an abnormal warp in an orbital, a local orbital field. That warp resonates with any local orbital devices and expands and draws energy from the devices. That warp resonates with the local orbital devices, expands, and draws energy from those devices. That makes sense, we've been through that. The energy disappears through the warp, so it doesn't just get deleted, but it disappears to the warp, so they're collecting energy for something? Well, no, it does not disappear. It is sent somewhere else. I was gonna say, it's a warp, so it's going somewhere else. And wherever that elsewhere is located is capable of causing impossible effects we've seen. Ooh. You know, I hope I'm misunderstanding this. I'm afraid you get a passing grade here, old friend. The society can use these gospels to draw out and spread the power of whatever this thing is. How huh, spreading influence of a mysterious force, no wonder the society has named them gospels. I see. So whatever this mysterious force is, it is big. <clears throat> to say the least. In that case, the nature of this thing bothers me. As you said, even if it's an orbment out of our purest fiction, or... As far as that goes, I'm afraid I have no real clue. I've thought of a number of possibilities, but that would be pure speculation at this point. Now, Cassius, I will ask you the same question I asked you ten years ago. We're in quite the pickle. What do you need me to do? <laughs> ha, well, in the exact same words I asked you to develop the orbital... When I asked you to develop the uh, patrol airship, rather. Well then, I'll walk around. The key, I think, must lie in this warp the gospel creates. Russell, can you develop some kind of plan or method of stopping the resonance the spread? <laughs> I thought you'd ask that. I'm just about done with my current invention anyway. <laughs> I'll get to work on that as soon as I'm done with this. Interesting. Airliner Celica. Now we get to go to our little uh, exploration time. Uh, we just need to talk to all of our people and talk to a bunch of people twice at seems. So. Specifically Tita. All right. So. Uh, oh, are you two? No, you're not. Uh, the the person, the dude who has the the, the kid who looks just like you and Roland has uh, blue hair. I think. Boss has a really famous restaurant in it. Oh, oh, I know. Mommy, mommy, let's go eat there. Really, child? My daughter keeps saying she wants to eat at the Antero's restaurant in Boss. <sighs> Must be nice to be a child. So innocent. So aware of, uh, unaware of prices. Alright, um... Let's start with Shara, who's outside. What'd you see in your dream? Hello, Estelle. Hi, Shara, so this is where you went. Oh, wait, do you want to be alone for a bit? Oh, this is unlike you, Estelle. Why so reserved? You want to ask about Luciola, right? Um, yeah, she's, um... <laughs> I had this awakening when I saw her. <laughs> she said she met, uh, we met a really long time ago, but I don't remember her all that well. Or at all, rather. I was wondering what she's like and if you could jog my memory. Let's see, where to begin, then? Well... We have to begin with her stage name, I suppose, Luciola the Bewitching Bell. Uh, she could show her audience illusions by dancing while using bells and fans, thus bewitching them, you see. Hers was the centerpiece of the performance of our little circus troupe, the one that really brought the audiences in. Illusions. Is that... Uh, does she use an ornament to make them? No, she uses something uh, she calls illusion magic, which is apparently some kind of very old orbal, non orbal art. Luciola was from a family with a tradition of working that art. Was? People who fall in with circus traveling, uh, with traveling circus rather, like ours, tend to be one of two kinds. People who had a cause to abandon their previous homes and families, or people who never had such to begin with. <clears throat> Luciola was the former and I was the latter. All. I was about seven years old when Mr. Harvey and his band took me in. We're gonna hear a bunch of sad stories, and Agates is probably gonna be about his sister. Regardless, back then I was little more than a street urchin living in the slums of the city, pickpocketing petty theft. There was little I wouldn't do to try and survive. Huh? 
The ones who reached out a hand to me were the troops leaders of Mr. Harvey and Luciola, who's still man. Uh, they taught me the little girl who couldn't trust anyone the warmth of a family. And they taught me all sorts of skills that would earn me a place in the troop myself. Dancing, beast handling, tarot reading, Luciola taught me all of it. But then eight years ago, Mr. Harvey died in an accident. Without his leadership, we all just drifted apart and went our own ways. I'd been planning on staying with Luciola, but soon after Mr. Harvey died, she simply told me, There's something I must do. And vanished. Hopeless and lost for the first time in years, I turned to the one remaining man whom I still trusted. As you might suspect, that was Cassius, who'd already begun working as a bracer. You know the rest, I imagine. Dang. Sad time, Sherazard. So that's what happened. I had no idea you'd gone th through something like that, rather. I wonder if it were like a true accident. Mr. Harvey. Not Steve! Uh, at first, uh, the reason I would aim to become a bracer was at first to improve myself. I wanted to be able to live and prosper on my own, show Luciola just how far I'd come once she'd return. Um, I just wanted to double check onto where the uh, next gambler's jack was at Crone Pass. Yeah, cool. Alright, in that case, uh, <clears throat> I think we're gonna make it there, do this airship stuff, make it to boss, talk to Mayor Maybell, and then end the episode, because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling this Mayor Maybell. Um, but, well, it's been eight years. Perhaps that was enough time to re-examine my reasons. Shara, don't make that face. Like Zin said, I don't simply intend to fight her without saying a word. I want to hear Luciola's story from uh, her before doing anything. I, I want to... I have to know what possible reasons you could have to associate with the society. Yeah, that sounds good. I got your back, Shara. I'll do anything I can to help. Huh. I know I can always count on you. Still, you don't cried a bit, haven't you, Estelle? Huh, what? That's kind of sudden. I always thought of you as being exactly what I expect of Cassius's daughter. I don't think that's quite right or fair anymore, though. What do you mean? Your strength isn't quite the same as Cassius's. Cassius has a heart... Uh, as deep as the ocean and strength like a relentless wave. But you, Estelle, you're starting to, uh, your strength is like the sun. You shine and make others shine by being near them. What? <laughs> My Estelle, you shine like the sun. Oh, man. That's why I think people are uh, attracted to you so easily. It's what I like about you, and I know Joshua felt the same way. I don't think you need to feel any pressure to live up to Cassius, is my point. Yeah. <laughs> really are my big sister, Shara. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, just stop. <laughs> you always know uh, how to encourage me. Thanks. You're very welcome. Nah, not saying that you should return the favor in mine, but you really should drink with me sometime. Now that you're a full bracer, you need to learn how to handle your liquor. How is this booze related? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's the bracer. It's in the bracer notebook. <laughs> Get lit. <laughs> Chapter three. <laughs> I'll be back in my seat once I've enjoyed the wind a little more. Make sure you're all buckled in before we land, huh? Okay, cool. Olivier, I definitely want to talk to you. <clears throat> uh, Estelle, at last we return to Boss, the land with me memories, rather, of our first meeting. <laughs> it makes my heart swell to return to such a place of sweet nostalgia. Shocking as it may be, I kind of have to agree on the heart-swelling memories bit. <clears throat> Although, as I remember, you were kind of rude back then. You said I wasn't attractive and made fun of me like a schoolboy. You misunderstand me, my fair Rose. I would only display such cute, bashful behavior in order to hide true feelings of love unabated. Yep, yeah, I bet that's it, exactly. You sure didn't waste any time putting moves on Cheryl, as I remember, or Joshua. Well, putting that aside, as you stand now, your beauty is incomparable when it comes to what it was back then. Yours is a simple, healthy beauty with a maiden's gentle virtue. Um, indeed, you have grown a step. Oh, 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 okay, um, wow, thank you. <laughs> uh, though when you put it that way, it's kind of embarrassing. Please don't say it again like that. And there is no shame to be had in virtuous now. Still, you have only but begun to climb the ladder of adulthood. Should you wish to ascend even higher, I would be happy to assist you. No, thank you. If I were ever in a position to ask anyone about uh, that sort of things, I'd a million times be better off asking Shara. <sighs> a pity. The things I could teach you. Though Shara would be the one to. Ah. I'll remind you that I have a very large stick. 
gosh darn it. Oh, we do get, yeah, the second one. Oh, yeah. Olivia, you were put to sleep there too. Did you have a dream like I did? I suppose I did. Yes, I... Huh, Olivia, is something wrong? Well, I was simply thinking that it was a shame. For you, see, in my dream I was in the beauty of peerless, beautiful maidens, betwixt shapes verily blessed by Idios. If you had not awoken me, Estelle, I could have done this and that, and perhaps fate has willingly stirred me to our arrival. Well, would you care to discover to which only can be can received in dreams, rather? <clears throat> Remember what I said about my stick? I can always put you to sleep with it. Forever. <laughs> Not the for never, not the forever nev. <laughs> I said the for never. <laughs> not the for never ever nev. Uh, no, I'm sorry. For the love of him. Still, Olivia's eyes were so sad for a moment. What did he dream of? You needn't make such a face, my sweet. Huh? In truth, it was nothing special. Simply a memory of my, uh, memory of my boyhood. Dear Mueller showed up for a bit, for example. I see. Then why the heck couldn't you mention that from the start, you perv? Now, now, anger unbecomes you, Lady Estelle. <laughs> Speaking of boss, I, goodness gracious, a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> I remember that the lovely mayor, yeah, and her handmaiden with a cool gaze. All right, her handmaiden, gosh darn it. Ah, the thrill at the thought of meeting them again. Huh? Alright, let's just talk to the, to the homies first. I think Tita's usually down here. That's Agate. Dude, we gotta talk to him. You okay, boy? Hey, is something wrong, Agate? It's nothing. You still wandering around the ship? Yep, it's what I do. I'm um, about earlier. Earlier? What do you mean? You know when we were put to sleep in the mist walled? Did you see some kind of, uh, dream, too? Ooh, <laughs> I see. Sorry, did you not want to talk about it? No, it's, it's, it's alright. Yeah, I, I saw a dream. It was, uh, nostalgic as hell, but, uh, I'll say that much. Huh, you too, huh, Agate? So, um... No, Estelle, you've got to work harder on your poker face and hiding with- <laughs> Hiding you want to know stuff, huh? It ain't gonna be so good. Anyway, it was just silly memories of when I was a kid back home. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about the eagerness. But, yeah, I remember now. You're from Ravenue, right? In the boss region. This will be your first time back home in a while, then. It's been a little while, yeah, but I did stop by the old place after the Queen's birthday celebration a while back. Hey, wait a second. Why are you assuming I'm going back home, huh? Uh, don't be embarrassed, you big teddy bear. You've got a little sister back in Ravenue, right? You mentioned her once. Oh, no, we're gonna just go to her grave, man. She is Misha. <laughs> you must be the biggest softy when it comes to her, huh? Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. Where the heck is, uh, in Ravenue is your house anyway? I don't remember meeting any girl who stood out as Agus' little sister when we were investigating the Sky Bandits. There was a girl with Louie, but no, way too young. I figure your girl's gotta have your hair. I'll... <sighs> I'll introduce you to Misha soon. Assuming we have some reason to visit anyway. Yeah, please do. And in that case, we'll have to bring Tito along too. Why would we have to do that? Uh, Tito's kind of attached to you in case you hadn't noticed. She'd be pretty let down if you didn't introduce her to your sister, you know? Oh, I get it. She's dead. <laughs> no, it's no. She, you don't get it. <laughs> You don't want Misha and Tita to meet, huh? What? No, I get it now. They might get together and get in trouble like Tita did with Rain, or they might get jealous of each other. Uh, being an older brother must be hard work. Huh? Oh, that's what you mean. Huh? You don't want them to meet. Oh, man, he really took that differently. Oh, recontextualizing that in my brain hurts, man. Oh, agate. My guy, don't worry, I'll clean up any mess that happens. I've gotten pretty good at Tita hurting. So, you go ahead and introduce those two um, crazy kids and I'll be sure nothing <laughs> blows up. Yeah, thanks. I'll be counting on you for that. Man, Agate, let me just say this. I'm only heading back to Ravenue once we are settled with the job. Don't think you can drag me out there somewhere. I will try. <laughs> oh, you jerk face. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go there. So this is the this is the chapter that we definitely learn, Misha. I, they do a very good job in this game. Hey, what's good? Hi, ma'am. You've been writing a lot lately. Oh, Zos uh, Zosimov. That fog and rolling was a totally kick. Oh, was totally a kick rather, wasn't it? I took the chance to get out and enjoy some nature while we were docked. 
Alright, let's talk to Tita twice. Aw, uh, Tita's probably gonna wanna talk about, uh... Where is she? Where the heck is Tita? Huh? Uh, Tita? Como estas? Where is- did we leave her in- <laughs> Y'all, I think we left Tita, that's crazy. Tita, where are you? I'm hanging off the ship, help! <laughs> oh man, not again, Tita. But do 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 Boom doom 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 I do 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 Maybe I just missed her when I went upstairs, because she's not down here, so she's gotta be upstairs. Y'all, Tita doesn't exist. Y'all, Tita's gone. Unless she doesn't have her hat on or something. Yo, where is Tita? Right? Yeah, talk to Tita twice. She's she's nowhere. Wait. For a second, I thought she was on the front of the ship for real. Yo, she's nowhere to be found. Did, like, Agate replace her? Boss Market is a dreamland for someone who likes to shop. I've been heard the manager of Adele um, Department Store is a big fan of the Boss Market. Uh... Wait. Oh, I just never walked into this room. My bad, Tita. Oh, hi, Estelle. Still walking around? Yeah, sort of. Oh, Tita, this is like your first time in Boss, isn't it? Uh-huh. I've heard there's a really big store in Boss. I kind of want to see it. Yeah, the Boss Market. Think of it like the department store in Grand Soul, but bigger. It actually has a bunch of different stores all in one space. It's really busy. Wow, that sounds amazing. Uh, 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 yuck. <laughs> uh, yuck. I hope we arrive in Boss real soon. Uh, Tita, that's all you had to say? Oh, Estelle, have you been to Ravenue Village? Yeah, I stopped there once on a job. That's Agate's hometown, right? Uh-huh. He has a little sister named Misha living there. Agate goes back there pretty often. I think at least once a year to say hello to her. Ah, uh, right. Agate's little sister, huh? Must be hard for, uh, must be hard for the poor girl having an antisocial lump like a bro- for a brother, rather. Estelle, that's not nice. Agate can be, um... Blunt, but he's also real nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's just kind of clumsy and easily embarrassed, to be honest. Hehehe. <laughs> Yuck. You know, I bet Misha's a really good person. If she's alive is all. Uh, whenever Agate talks about her, his eyes get so gentle, as if she's dead or something. He's remembering her fondly. No, she's gotta be alive. Tita, what's wrong? N no, it's it's nothing. My heart just felt kind of weird for a bit. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder why. Huh, so somebody's a bit jealous of Misha, I bet. No, I think <laughs> I think Tita is starting to kind of realize that, that she's dead. Uh, my friends, one of the guards at the Hacking Gate, let me tell you. <clears throat> the existence of the Empire's way is more heavily on the minds of our troops than anyone else. Ironically, I think our military men will welcome the non-aggression non pack rather more than the rest of us. Go. Do you got anything else to say? Misha, huh? <laughs> I hope I, I can be her friend when I meet her, and, <laughs> and I hope I don't have to be in a grave if I want to meet her, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll talk to Zen first. Oh, Estelle, good work this time. <clears throat> I kind of want to know what, um, what dreams these two might have had. I might look up a video for it. That's actually <clears throat> really interesting to me, because I feel like at the very least, Chloe would actually tell us everything that happened in her dream. Because that's our girlfriend. Like, our girl. Um... Oh, Estelle, good work this time. Really growing as a bracer. I'm still kind of a newbie, I think. Like, I'm not even remotely good with the staff as dad. Well, I don't think you should worry about Master Cassie as much. And Esrake Brink, uh, Bracer is a master of their profession to a degree that they attain a unity of purpose that all martial arts, uh, all martial artists seek after all. To be honest, I don't think I could attain such enlightenment if I spend my whole time trying. Huh? Oh, I see. I gotta admit, it's kind of hard for me to understand how incredible my dad is, but uh, actually, Zen, you mentioned this whole unity of purpose thing uh, to Chloe back at the castle. What does that mean exactly? Yeah, I did. It's kind of tough to explain, to be honest. Well, here goes. Master Cassius was once a transcendent master of the sword. He was given the title Divine Blade. Today, though, he can wield a staff just as easily as the sword he spent his life training with. Why do you think that is? He practiced really hard? 
That's part of it, sure. But it's more than that. It's because he could instantly understand and relate the nature of the staff combat to his previous experience. Something beyond that. Uh, beyond what we call skill. Above practicing forms and flexes. Above memory. Think of it as a mental state where one can grasp the true nature of all things and control them at will. The whole concept is why we refer to the unity of purpose. <clears throat> the true nature of all things, huh? His plan to push back the Imperial Army during the war was the same, I bet. He understood the nature of war, of combat, so intrinsically, so intense, uh, instinctively rather, that he was able to construct the plan the way he did. There would be no one more fearsome as a foe. I get it, I think. That means that even uh, my supposedly enlightened dad was beaten in some ways by the society. During the coup, he was lured out of the country for starters. Yes, they almost certainly possess someone equal to Master Cassius. It's hard to know uh, if it's uh, Lobe or this professor, though. Could it just be the guy we know as Lawrence? He was pretty powerful. <clears throat> I don't know. He is incredibly skilled, sure, but I doubt he could match up to Master Cassius. Besides his chi, his soul. They didn't have the unity of purpose. No, not in the way I have spoken of. He is a blade sharpened in one specific way by the coldest frost, tempered to perfection, untouched by anyone. That is a sense I got uh, of him in the arena, at least. Yeah, I get what you mean. He hasn't shown himself, but I figure he's got to be up to something. He did seem to have some kind of fixation on Joshua. It wouldn't surprise me if they know each other from Joshua's days in the society. Between him, me, and Sherazard, we've all got strange ties in our past to someone in this group. I wonder if this uh, is the guidance of she who dwells above. Huh? Right? Uh, I mean, we have a tie to the professor. We know him. Hey, what's good? What's good, K? Special K? <laughs> uh, Estelle, out for a walk again. Uh, you know, it's my my classic. I'm walking on the airship. I'm cruising down the airship. <laughs> Aha, more or less. Uh, more importantly, I'm sorry. I didn't really open up about Joshua until the very end. Oh, I don't worry. Still, that girl with Joshua was one of the Sky Bandits, isn't she? Yeah, she's a cheeky, insulting little punk by the name of Josette Kapua. She's also the single biggest tomboy I've ever laid eyes on, and people call me a tomboy sometimes. <laughs> oh, um, I see. <laughs> she does, um, she uh, seems a bit charming from the photo. <laughs> I, I like her hair, and you know, I, I, I think I, I, this tomboy thing, this, uh, it's, a, it's a fun concept to think about. I mean, yeah, she can be pretty cute if she keeps her mouth shut. Uh, and she did manage to play a perfect upper crust girl when we met her first, too. Oh, I'm sorry. All oh, right, when we met her at the mayor's residence. Oh, I see. Well, that is impressively, uh, impressively dexterous, if I say so myself. Well, it does make sense since she is apparently former Arabo Araborian nobility. Putting on a face like that is her specialty, I think. Peel away the layers, though, and like I said, she's... <laughs> At the core, she's a cheeky, classless little punk. Huh. Still, from what I've heard, I can't really find cause to hate her. <laughs> and she's hot. <laughs> Could you give me her number, Estelle? <laughs> Chloe, I'm sorry. Uh, I suspect that if we have a chance to talk, we might find a lot of common, a lot of common ground. <laughs> Maybe over tea. <laughs> At the castle. <laughs> In the queen's bedroom, but without the queen. Uh, yeah, I can't see that happening. I think you probably could. We'll slide off each other like oil and water. Our personalities wouldn't fit together, trust me. Huh, maybe. Alright, get me out of here. Thank you for flying with us today. We will be arriving in Boss shortly. Please be aware that there may be turbulence while landing, so we ask all passengers to return to their seats. This is where our airship gets attacked by a dragon. <laughs> Did I? I think I was. Did I say something about a dragon? No, the game said something about a dragon before. I was like, they, they're making mention of the dragons out here, and apparently, I, here it is, dragon. It's it's real. Hey, 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 welcome to boss. Welcome to boss. It's what time is it? It's boss time. Hey, welcome to boss. Welcome to boss. Tiptoe, welcome. Welcome to boss. My name is Lugron. I am great. It's Wally. <laughs> I love Lugron, actually. 
I don't think, you know what, he might be my favorite. Welcome everyone, good work out there in Roland. Ha, the silver streak, the heavy blade, the immovable, hold on. Uh, uh, our rising star rookie altogether? <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye, it does. Um, rising star rookie? Ha, you of course. Our little walking miracle who's managed to stop the society in four different reasons, uh, regions rather. That's been the gossip anyway. Y you've gotta be kidding. I saying I stopped anything is, uh, is overstating it more than a little. They just ran off once their experiments were done. You did handle yourself uh, well in Roland, uh, in the Roland case, rather, a spell. Don't sell yourself too short. I think you can be a little bit proud. Huh? Yeah, but that that was just um, a bunch of coincidences coming together, and uh, no need to get so embarrassed. You need to live up to your reputation is all. Yeah, thanks, Zen. You make it sound like a cakewalk. Huh? Anyway, all that aside, what's up in boss? Huh? There's been no sign of the society anywhere. No surprise, I suppose, since the Sky Bandits were all caught, the heavy, the armies rather, been patrolling the region pretty heavily. One thing sticks out though, there have been way too many dangerous monsters prowling around these days. Really? Yeah, I noticed the last time I was here, the monsters and boss seem to have... Uh, rather, boss seems to have usual, uh, usually have more wanted monsters than other, uh, than other regions rather, why is that? Most of it comes down to boss being huge and being filled with rough terrain. Makes it common to see monsters come down from the less inhabited areas. Thing is though, we've seen 10 cases just since the beginning of this month. Huh? 10, that is a lot. I'm guessing uh, that kept Sting and the other crew really busy. Yep, Kurt's team stopped by the other day to slay several of them. Be in your debt if you could take uh, care of a few of them for us. Huh? It strikes me as a good course of action. It's possible the society is involved with this after all. Yeah, couldn't hurt, uh, uh, they could hurt someone rather if we leave them alone. So get out there and take them down. Agate? Huh? Agate, what's wrong? Yeah, you're really quiet. Nah, it's, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get out there and break some monster back, yeah! Pardon me? Good day. Estelle, it's good to see you again. And I'm glad to see you are well. Uh, wow, seriously, it's been forever. I think the last time we met was at the Queen's birthday celebration, right? Yes, it feels as though it's been ages. I've been hearing all about your exploits in the news, though, Estelle. That goes for everyone else as well. I'm glad to see you're all safe. Especially you, Chloe. Are you on <laughs> school break already? <laughs> Uh, I am, um, I ended up taking a little time off early. It's good to see you again, Miss Maribel, Miss Mayor Maybell. You two seem, um, pretty familiar. I well, Mayor Maybell used to be a student at the Academy. Uh, we met before she graduated. <laughs> and I'm certainly glad we got to meet, too. Aha, I see. And Agate Crosner? It's been quite some time, sir. I uh, suppose so. Hey on, Agate. <laughs> Miss Maribel, you know each other? <laughs> Oh my, yes, I relied on Mr. Krosner a number of times for various jobs only he could do. And ten years ago, a hey, mayor. I forgot myself. Pardon me. Regardless, I sim uh, simply wish to stop by today to welcome you back. Is... Uh, is Mayor Maybell from Revenue Village? Did something happen 10 years ago? Did like it? Could he save Mayor Maybell and then missed out on like the opportunity to save his sister or something? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, from the sounds of it, you're pursuing an international criminal syndicate which threatens the safety of the entire country. An international criminal syndicate. Yeah, I mean, fair. Sometimes I feel like, uh, more like a society of supervillains, but yeah, that's one way to think of them, yes. So far, the city of Boss is concerned. The threat these criminals pose is not someone else's problem, it's everyone's. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your investigation, anything at all, you only need to ask. Thanks. If we need help, we'll definitely ask. <laughs> we'll be expecting a lot from you, Mayor. Excellent. Now I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Should anything come up, please come- Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to your move down, look. I'm coming to Miss Maribel's home right now. Pardon us, huh? Although I've pretty much gotten exactly what I wanted, but like, you know, I mean, you know, Miss Maribel, Maybell, how you doing, huh? Come on, Agate. Couldn't you have been a little bit more civil? 
is who I am. We ain't running a butler service here. Give me a break. Um, Agat can be kind of arrogant to people sometimes. He's usually polite towards clients, though. You were kind of short with the mayor, Agat. If Ag is gonna be forced in the party, I think we do need to have Tita in the party this time around, which is unfortunate. She's gonna have to get some change, uh, some some training in. You're imagining things. More to the point, I remember talking about uh, bringing us back some monster heads. Lugron, give us the breakdown. Right. We have three cases outstanding. First, there's a blade fang stalking the Crone Pass. Let's see. There's a ghost epitaph in Nebelville. A ghost. And there's an octobone raising hell in the Amberal Tower. Okay, got those written down, huh? Alright, monster slaying's perfect task from a great sword. I'll be taking charge this time around. Huh? Well, you are a boss native, my good heavy blade. You're probably the best suited out of all of us. I have no objections. <laughs> Decided. Go on, pick us a team, Estelle. You're being suspiciously gung-ho about this, you know? Okay, well... You have to come. I feel like I like having you around. It's gotta be one of you two. Although I guess we gave you a bunch of ornaments. Uh, we'll bring you for now. Uh, just because <laughs> I like it when Olivier teases uh, Agate. <laughs> uh, Tita, you're in the party because this seems to be a very important chapter for Agate and you're gonna be able to comfort him. Okay, so we're going to run all over the region and find these wanted monsters. So while we're out, why don't we stop and shop at Ravenue Village? Oh, oh no, no, yeah! Oh, uh, why are you looking at me like you're expecting something? Hee <laughs> hee. I want to go by your hometown, Agate. D do you not want to? Uh, not right now, no. We need to sell our current jobs first, including hunting these monsters. Aww. You unfeeling clod. Come on, Tita's here. <laughs> Would it literally make your head catch on fire to be nice for once? The hell do you even... Estelle, it's okay, really. It's only normal that we should put work first. Ag, I'm sorry for prodding you. Nah. And you know, I'll definitely take you once things have settled down a bit. Just be a good girl for now, short stuff. Okay! <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, that's- yeah, alright, yeah, no, we have to bring- we gotta bring Tita for this, for this little lot. Um, let's do a little bit of shopping. Uh, let me check the board to see if there's any other, uh, requests, to be honest. Um... It's been so long since I've been to Boss. It's such a big city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a couple of other ones here. Um, there's that. There's the missing lady, so we'll have to do that one like ASAP. And that one we don't have to do ASAP, but I think we have most of the stuff, to be honest. Yeah, like TBH, we probably have everything. Um, missing lady. The young lady has gone missing. Rain at the anti rose. Okay. Uh, so next time we'll probably do those three things. Um, this time we'll probably just read the liberal news and talk to Mayor Maybell because she is uh, very cool and nice. Uh, this looks like the stall that'll sell me the, the stuff. I can just buy Gambler's Jack Volume 6? That's crazy. Give me the liberal news. Um, can't rotate the camera in here. Is this where they're selling armor? I would, yeah, I mean, I guess not. I assume there's still, yeah, there's gotta still be an ornament shop. This is just for, etc. Um, is there food? I don't need any of that. Hardware? Lower speed, I don't know about that. Um, that's the guild, the bar, the hotel. That's Miss, uh, Miss Marybell, uh, Mayor Maybell's house. Uh, the yeah, I was gonna say, it's down here is where both of those things are. Uh, I think I want to come here first. We'll do Orbman's next episode, because I probably will actually do grinding um, this weekend, because I should, hopefully, be a freer this weekend. Uh, shop. <clears throat> Till I drop. Uh, yes. 
Oh, we're actually pretty good on, on fun. So we'll definitely be getting you. Uh, Ogre Buster and... Yeah, I don't think we've actually given Tita some stuff in a minute. Well, I mean, this is better on everyone. It cuts down the speed. It cuts down the speed on Agate and on Olivier based on their gear, but admittedly, it ups the, the defense by so much, I think it's probably worth it to just get one of those for everyone. Yeah, because we also lose a little bit of speed. Yeah, just get four. Uh, do I have enough to afford four of these? I sure do. Olivia, I don't know what you have on. But you're about to be slow as the dickens, I think. I do wish there was an optimized one. Pretty sure I talked about this last time, too. Yeah, sure. Why not? I also feel like I need to go through and, uh, hook up everybody's, um... Gimme? Everybody's stuff. And by stuff, I mean their, um, their accessories. Like, she has this gladiator headband, which is kind of crazy. I could have given that to somebody else. Buzzer's not bad. I kind of like that. She's still, like, nine levels behind, which kind of sucks, but she'll be fine. We will actually go ahead and do her thing. No? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Prevents freeze. I don't know if that's the best in the world, but it is what it is. Alright. <clears throat> Very cool. Um, we're gonna go to Mary Mabel's place, read the news, then talk to her, and we'll call it close. Let's check out the news real quick. Uh, nope. Not our junior bracer notebook. I'm surprised we still have the junior one. Neat. Uh, let's read LeBurl Chapter 7. Oh, the non-aggression pact's been signed! Uh, the Pledge of Three Nations. It was a signing ceremony to remember. Under the watch of the neutral party Archbishop Courant, Queen Alicia opened the proceedings with an oath of non-aggression. The representatives from the Empire and the Republic uh, uh, affirmed, rather, their participation and became, uh, signatories. Um, the pact now complete, the three nations have brought, or rather have been brought, to a new beginning thanks to the efforts from the Queen. International interests high while the Imperial Emperor and the President Rocksmith of the Republic were unable to attend. VIPs from each nation assembled in the hall, showing again how much attention this pact has drawn. For news, agencies have also gathered in most international, uh, this most international affairs was christened with a storm of camera flashes. A new engine, engine rather, sample provided. A crucial component of the pack, samples of the new model engine were also provided to the representatives rather of the Empire and the Republic. The Queen extended her wishes for cooperation and again reaffirmed her stance that the technology was something to share, not monopolize. And the future of three nations. Voices of doubt remain that. Uh, question the... Ooh. Okay, question the effectiveness of the non-aggression pack, but as our column has pointed out before, the value of the pack lies in the chance for meaningly com a meaningful conversation that it creates. Skeptics would point out that there are uh, many valid excuses for breaking the pack, but while that is certainly a possibility, what we should be focused on is the path to peace that lies before us, now thanks to the opportunity created today. Maybe not so much for Crossbow. Uh, the... <laughs> Society, Roland Region covered in fog, yeah that happened. Starting yesterday morning and continuing throughout the evening, Roland Region has been shrouded in a deep fog never before experienced in the region. The unusual weather has grounded flights and made travel within the region nearly impossible. The residents and experts alike are scratching their heads at the severity of the mist. And that is all, it was a short liberal news, slow news day. <laughs> hey what's up my dude? 
Welcome to our humble home, Bracers. Allow me to thank you for your previous efforts. I know the mistress appreciates them. Mary Mabel is in the study on the second floor. She is quite busy as always. Please do not distract her for very long. Aw, oh, nah, man. I'm getting up there. I'm getting my Mary Mabel time. We will save, though. Get my Mary Mabel time. Hey, girl, what's good? Hello, everyone. Already on business, I take it. Uh-huh. We just wanted to let you know what we were doing. Uh, we're gonna start by helping with the wanted monsters. Uh, that's what we're doing now. Uh, for now, rather, mind. No, trust me, the city of Boss and I thank you for your service. There have been many of them as of late. They've really been wreaking havoc. Yeah, so they're causing you trouble, too? Yes, ensuring the roads are safe and passable is vital to keeping the city alive. I know it may seem like a simple mission, but its completion means more to the city than you may think. We're all counting on you to defeat these monsters. Huh? Leave it to us. Huh? Uh, maybe not so much Tita, but I guess she'll be coming along. Uh, hey, what's up? Not Mayor Maybell, Lila. Bracers, hello. Miss Maybell is in her study next door. If you have business with her, you may find her there. Please do not disturb her if you do not. Huh? Okay, well... I thought we were a little bit cooler than that, Lila. Alright, that's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Alright. Here's the dealio. Uh, I'm gonna get to, to hunting. I'll save right here. I'm gonna get to some monster hunting real quick. Huh? I guess up here. Yeah, I'm gonna just monster hunt here for quite a bit. Um, hopefully not have Tita die a bunch, but you know. Oh, even better. <laughs> I should probably give Tita some some new courts too, cause her ah uh, yeah. Let me go do horrible stuff for Tita, and then we'll end the episode. Uh, here. Take it, that one. I don't want to hit our new friend now. Bro, <laughs> we're supposed to be friends. There we go. Tita, get some levels. Huh? There you go. <laughs> we got a long ways to go with her, but you know what? It'll do. Um, I'm gonna come back here and we're actually gonna go see what Tita has, because I think we probably need to unlock probably a few of her slots. Uh, let me see. Uh, slots. Uh, Miss Tita. Although I don't think she's really like... Uh, look at this. Uh, she doesn't really use EP a whole bunch, but I mean, like, we should probably still get her slots on the, on the ready. Um... We have defense 4 now, man. We have HP 4 now, man. I kind of like the freeze, too. A fade 4, sleep, sleep. I actually kind of sucks. I kind of hate sleep. Blind's not that bad. Um, I'm still a big fan of confuse. I think we have two. I might just get another confuse, for real. I feel like everyone should have one confused courts, not for nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, now we're starting to get to the ones that uh, require you to have the, the doubles, and I get that. And they're the best ones, or the better of the best ones, so you know. Uh, I'm gonna need to start unlocking some slots for the people who are... I don't have anybody who's actually using it. Um, courts for real, and Olivia is pretty good on courts. Uh, we just need some more blue and red. I know we had like... I think we had like 23... Uh, green, now we have more than that. Uh, Estelle, all your slots are fine. Agate, all yours are... nobody cares. Uh, we can get some of hers. Why not? You'll have enough for that. Now we have no red, so it is what it is. Um, let me just see what we can get on her, actually. Oh, she's adorable, man. Uh, because, well, I'll be real. <laughs> she doesn't use this stuff, so, you know, it's good to, it's good to see. Uh, she's got Eagle Eye, can see enemies from a distance. Uh, I mean, that's okay, I guess. Uh, EP1, she doesn't really use EP, so I don't really care too much about that. I would like to have her get one of these confuses. I have that, that's fine. You have, like, no EP, so I really shouldn't be using them for EP, so it is what it is. Uh, that being said, I should give you, like, defense stuff, so you can, like, raise your defense a little bit. Um, these do sap your strength, but I mean, like, it is what it is. Uh, let me see. 
Shara, get yourself a little bit of EP. You don't need it, but you know, it is what it is. Um... Yeah, that's good enough. Huh? Well, I might play around with hers a little bit more, but for right now, <clears throat> in case of emergency, she can make a heal, but she shouldn't be the one healing anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna probably just walk around here and, and I guess, do some fighting. Uh, these are the ones that I'm supposed to hit with magic, aren't they? Yeah, screw them. Like I'm gonna use magic for you dummies. I should probably use magic for these dummies. <laughs> I mean, hold on, maybe, maybe if I don't need to, then I won't. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I'll use magic for these guys, goodness gracious. Alright, uh, I'm gonna finish this fight. Without magic? Okay, Tita, use some magic. I'm about sick and tired. Alright, let's see if you guys can beat these guys before Tita uses that magic shot. No. Alright, great, this guy. Alright, sweet. And once again, I'm gonna go fight some dummies, huh? Yeah. Um, oh, a chest? Don't mind if I do. One last chest dialogue before we leave. You find a skeleton wearing a name tag reading M.T. Chester. Sorry, that was a lie. You didn't find anything. Yep, I'm leaving. Good day. <laughs> Toodaloo, flight crew. Thank you so much for watching.